Actually, now I think I know why. I think I know what the problem is. Uh, oh yeah, I think now it might work, actually. Let me just go back on kick. There we go. Is it working? Let's try again. Yeah. We live. Okay, it's working now. Jesus, Feliz Lunes, mi amor, como estas? Uh, Shashank, Mishra, good morning to you. How are you? It always feels unusual. Thank you so much, Pum Daddy, for checking for me earlier on YouTube. I thought there was like a glitch in the system, but then I feared something else. And so I'm glad that you double checked. Last week when I did like a um, stream on YouTube, I got like a strike for no reason and I had to reach out to them because I wasn't able to do any more live streams for like two weeks. And I thought maybe that's what the issue was. They forgot to like remove it from my account and maybe that's why I wasn't able to do live streams. So thank you for checking. Uh, G1995, hola, hola, can we make some? <laughs> oh, that was funny. And uh, I think, I don't know if those of you who joined me earlier, I don't know if you're still on or whatnot, because it's like showing, I don't know, kick is weird how the platform works when text messages come in. Peter Mikula, Brandlin Stevens, why girlfriend marry me? Uh, Brandon, are you asking for my hand in marriage? Where's my ring? <laughs> Tarsiano Almeida. Muito linda. Gracias. Almeida. Rene Perez. Hola, hermoso. And Dimitri Zagzarudis. How are you, honey boo? All the way from Greece. You actually never confirmed whether you live in Greece or you are from Greece. So I actually still don't know if you're America or not. Hola, lindo. Reginaldo Arojo. Uh, you've got a big one. <laughs> I do write lots of action. Uh, you know what? I came upstairs hoping that the weather was going to be nice because you know how you guys are always like, you never go in the pool, you never go in the water. I do sometimes go, but like when there's people in the background, some people don't like it. And so I um, came by the water hoping that the weather, this weekend the weather was actually really chilly. So it's actually starting to warm up now. But uh, I'm hoping that the weather, like the sun keeps coming and going and then there's a bunch of like wind. And you know, in the evenings when the weather is cold, the water is cooler. I was just hoping to go in the water, wet my hair a little, get a little bit soaked since, you know, I haven't really taken advantage of the pool this summer. And then I said, then pro we're probably gonna go on the other side, but I kind of wanted to give you guys a different view than the view that we usually get over there. So I figured we'd come here for a bit. Yes, that was a no. <laughs> G1995, I don't really know who you are. I mean, like, I mean, I know in the sense that, like, yeah, we've chatted together, but, like, that was something very, you know, uh, direct. I, I, I mean, I don't really know how to answer that question. <laughs> Mr. Dexter, how are you? Hola, hola. Johnny, me acuerdo. Hola to you. So much to talk about, by the way, Chad. Marcio Alves, you're all the way from Brazil. Thank you so much for joining all the way from Brazil, Chad. I'm trying to like hide the guy as well so that he doesn't complain. <laughs> so we're just going to go a little bit closer so we don't see him. Okay, there we go. And is it warm today? Yeah, the weather is actually not super warm. Like it's not boiling. It's not hot. There's a breeze. It's just good right now. But I don't know if it's warm enough to go in the water. Chris Vergado. Hey, how are you? And um, Vempra Brasil Linda. Thank you. Johnny me acuerdo. Hola, mi amor. And I answered Izard. I answered Jack Butler. What did you guys do over the weekend? Oh my God. What is up with this bumblebee? It's all over the place. And Stanley Mestas. I'm sorry I missed you earlier. I didn't see your message. I think I answered everyone, right? Elias Angelos. Hello, CB. How are you, honey? Boo, you wanted to talk to me. You know, the best way to talk to me is either through 
Discord. So for those of you who are not on my Discord channel, make sure you join because that's where you guys receive notifications as to when I go live. And then obviously the best place to chat with me is on Fancy Fans. And so, yeah, uh, we'll text you on IG later so you can put a face to the name. By the way, I don't see messages on IG, eh? <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's not, I don't purposely not reply back to people on Instagram. It's just your messages sit in my request inbox. And for some reason, my phone doesn't give me a notification when I get uh, messages from my request. And I have like a lot of messages there and I don't know who's who. And so like, I don't really go through that inbox. I do very, very occasionally, uh, but I don't generally go and check on a daily. Um... Finally, what did you write? What did you write? Finally, you wrote white. Oh, you were white. Yes, 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 Anurag, I definitely did. Um, Ramsey Thompson, how are you? Yeah, Discord is the best way to chat with me, actually. Uh, and Tracy White, I think I said hello to you. And I think someone is writing either in Farsi. I don't know, is that Persian? I can't read Farsi, so uh, I, I can read emojis, though. Um, Yasin, I think I addressed you earlier as well. Chat, we have so much to talk about today, but before we do so, I know some of you are going to like hit... <laughs> Did you guys see what happened? But before we do so, we got to get out of chat box. My camera was on, and so I randomly was like, why, am I, why is my screen looking at the floor? Uh... Huh? Oh my god, Kick changed their way of uh, posting their clips as well. I literally just noticed that. Oh no, people are coming at the pool. I think we should get in the water really quickly, get out of the water. Oh no, actually, she's coming in the pool. I'm talking to myself. Oh yeah, she is. People are coming in the pool, so we got to do this quickly. I'm going to get in the water, get out of the water, and then we're going to move. Um, thank you, Esme V. Duff. Uh, buenos dias, hermosa. We're going to go in the water quickly. And we're going to come out of the water quickly, okay? Because I feel like as people are coming, some people don't are not comfortable being in a bikini on camera and they might complain. I have to remove the mic so I won't have the mic on me. But we're just literally going in the water for like a couple of minutes, okay? Um, whatever that. And we're going to bring you guys some folks. Oh, someone's doing yoga at There's so much, I think you can, can you see There's so much bugs in this water at the moment. Oh, oh shit. This water is packed with bugs. <laughs> I should have brought the mic and put it like right here. Oh shoot, what I should have done is unplugged it. Look at that. Oh, it's hard. You guys can't hear it. You could hear, right? Okay. There's like millions of bugs in this pool. I'm not even kidding. How is this even legal?
like if I show you guys from close up, there's at least a hundred, like over a hundred bugs on the floor. It's kind of nasty. You know what I should have done? I should have lowered the camera. Had I lowered the camera, you guys would be able to see better. Let's just dry up now. Ooh. Gotta tighten this, the straps of this thing. Audio, by the way, like when it's uh, when my mic is not connected, is it fine or is there a lot of echo? Just gotta try up a little. Slavery advocate. I think you're the only one who wrote a little something here. Oh, you could see? I just figured it'd be more, uh, <laughs> you start to swim. Uh, Regin, um, thank you for joining me all the way from Brazil, by, by the way. Army man, how did you not know this? I had a pool, the pool was always behind me. I just never, actually I've been to the pool area maybe twice when I live stream here. I just never really go in the water because it's either too cold. Today it's not even that hot, but I push myself to go in the water actually. Uh, Tim Flynn, hello honey boo, how are you doing? Thank you for joining, happy Monday. Yasin and Stanley, I've already addressed you. Belezas, hermosa, divinas, un abrazo, beso, bendiciones para ti mujer. Hermosa, divinas. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, gracias. Single boy, you're a 22 male. Okay, let's Let's just put back our, uh, our, uh, our mic because I feel like you'll be able to hear me better. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. We're just going to put it this way. Now it's dry. I don't, I don't know if I necessarily want to put it down here, Chad. I'm like indecisive, but you guys are going to let me know if we should either stay here or go back to where we usually stay. Uh, actually, I forgot to put music on. Let me just uh, put some music on. There we go. On Spotify, that relaxing yoga music that I usually put. Uh, wait, search yoga. Okay, we got it. Where's everyone on kick? The audio is fine. There's a bit of wind noise, but it doesn't overpower voice. Uh, Shmarshar? 
I'm so sorry. I can't even read your name because I'm under the sun. Smash. Smasher. I think your name is Smasher. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate it when I ask a question, someone actually answers. I'm like, at least someone's paying attention. I put back my mic. I was just curious to know because I remember when I used to uh, stream at the gym without my mic turned on, you guys would always be like, there's so much of an echo. Although it is a little bit more quiet here, I just figured I'd ask if it's good without the mic, just for my own curious whatnot. Who else do we have on here? Okay, I think audio is better with the mic. Hosts. Wait, army man, what do you mean hosts? What do you mean? We gotta apply loshi loshi though. Now that we're under, now that we're out of the water. I wanted to make sure that I go in the water before applying lotion. Just because How is my hair, by the way? <laughs> I don't know why I was staring at the lotion. I feel like I'm having a not so great hair day. I go through like sunscreen, like there's no tomorrow, to be honest with you. Do we apply some everywhere? There we go. Right here. Oh my god, the bumblebee is like right next to my hair. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Where is it? Where is the bumblebee? What is it doing? Why is it close to me? Get away! What's wrong with it? Is it because of my sunscreen? Jeez Louise. Oh, okay. Let's get the arms. I honestly don't know if it's because of my sunscreen or just my natural scent. I don't see the bumblebee buzzing around anyone else. There we go. Ooh. My hair is still wet. Uh, trying to get them sweet <laughs> row because you are honey res well thank you jimmy more is always better i uh, love this and make me thirsty i need so much water you know what speaking of water chad i actually just realized this morning when i woke up that i only had and i'm not even exaggerating i literally drank one cup of water like literally one. i literally that's what i had one cup of uh water from friday all the way through monday uh, and the only time i was actually drinking water is when i was taking my vitamins like i'm never really thirsty after eating food i'm never like oh my god like i'm thirsty i need to drink water and then like this is like the cup i'm talking about is this big that's probably the most water that i had all for the past three days isn't that crazy and i only realized this this morning and i'm like maybe it's not really healthy because you need water to clear out your kidneys as well so I'm like, maybe I should get on that and start drinking water. Um, <laughs> and I answer that too. Javier Castro, hola. B likes you, you're magnetic. Well, thank you. Gabby Ballant, hello. You love my white bikini. I really need to tighten the top of this white bikini, actually. Chad, by the way, it's fine, right? 
Like, I can't really see myself. Everything's good, right? Chat, you tell me if it isn't. Skander, B13, how are you? But being where I can't tell <laughs> But being where I can't tell much. No, I meant, uh, yeah, like it's not like thin material, right? Is all I'm asking, actually. That's what I'm concerned about because I'm under the sun and I can't see nothing. Um, what was I going to say? Elias Angelos, thank you, thank you. So who here watched, who's into the Streamy Awards and who here actually watched the Streamy Awards? That's my first question. Um, did you guys see Kai accept, I think like the streamer, I don't know what category he won. I think he won like the streamer, the best entertaining streamer of the year or whatnot. And he accepted the award and asked Ray, you know that dude that he met in Japan that he brought to the US, he asked him to actually, <laughs> which is kind of funny. He asked him to, um, um, I was going to say, yeah, he asked him to join him on stage. Did anyone see that? And uh, not so sure, even if it's wet, do not worry. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what I was trying to um, get confirmation on. Um, cheesy Fry Gamer, hello, hello, how are you? Chet, should we go back to where we usually sit over there? I can't like see anything, like absolutely nothing. Or do you guys prefer this pool area? You know I'm indecisive, so I always ask you guys the question. Oh. No, you can't take a pic of me. You're not even here. How are you going to take a pic of me? Um, like this new view, the pool view. Oh, you like this view? If you're taking calcium or vitamin C, chances are high. Daniel, chances are high of what exactly? And thank you for joining. Happy Monday. Maybe I swim again? No. <laughs> I'm not going back in the water. The water was not clean. I'll show you guys from close up. There's like full of bugs in the water. So no. Well, thank you, Stanley. You want to show Santa Claus what you want? You know what? I'm not like, I'm not even laughing because like Christmas is right around the corner. It's like if time flies by so quickly that before you know it, it's actually going to be Christmas. Um... Uh, Smash, I'm in the Canada and the East Coast. Que hermosa eres. Thank you, Alpha Blanco. Masood, you made it. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, so nobody really answered my question. Did anyone watch the Streamy Awards or do you guys care for it or nobody watched it? Um, it was funny because, so Twitch has a new appointed CEO, right? That dude was never, he's a new CEO at Twitch, right? From, and he also streams from what I understood. Anyway, he was there and I think Speed has been like banned from the platform. Is it because he, he accidentally, you know, flashed everyone? I thought that was on YouTube. I didn't know that was also on Twitch. But anyway, he's banned and Kai was asking uh, to unban him. I was like, oh, that's the CEO. That's the dude, eh? Um, I should maybe send him a little email or something, something. But I didn't know that he live streams, actually. Has, does anyone watch him? Does anyone know? Am I, am I the only one who's aware of this? No, don't care to watch it. I don't watch it either, to be honest with you. Um, I just, like, like to kind of, like, see who won which award. So, like, I'll... I'll see clips of it, but I didn't even know that it was actually last night. I just, I was on YouTube today replying back to comments and then it kind of like popped up on my, uh, on my channel. And I was like, oh, the streaming awards were yesterday. Let's talk about it today and see if anyone cares or anyone watched it. Uh, Moth, why are you sad? Don't be sad. No interest in watching stream awards. Um, do you, do you, um, watch a lot of streamers on Twitch or Kick. Was it only, was the Streamy Awards only for Twitch or was it for both Twitch and YouTube and Kick? Or it's a Twitch thing? Cause I saw like some of the hosts that were actually, um, you know, talking, they weren't necessarily Twitch streamers. I don't think they are. Hence, I could be wrong, but I'm just asking the question. Daniel R, you made it. How are you, honey boo? So you have to drink more water when taking this. He's, um, oh, don't talk about him. I don't know. I don't who he is and I don't. Wait, who are we talking about? You're talking about Speedy? I think that's what his name is, Speedrun. I think that's what his name is. 
Uh, yeah, you have to take more water when you take vitamins. I know, and that's why I'm like, I should be careful. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it will honestly hopefully it will because I mean like I don't really care for the platform anymore but I have a everyone says this but I have a hard time believing that it's actually dying like I feel like it's gonna be stick around because it's much better than uh, what's it called uh, kick I mean like a lot of more streamers are streaming on that platform versus kick you know uh, chat I'm just gonna tighten this give me a sec I don't know why my stuff get loose, especially when you go in the water. It's weird. There we go. Okay. Um. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. I watch mostly select streamers on Twitch gamers. Oh, Kick is new, just checking it out. Oh, you're new to the platform, meaning like you just joined or you're saying Kick is fairly new platform, you're just checking it out. My favorite are the people who are a train wreck like, oh my God, that was the other conversation that I wanted to have was about Fauzi. Like, what is going on with that dude? And like, I don't care. Like, you know, everyone has their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to say whatnot, but I don't understand how he's just so loud and I feel like he does so much just for like, you know, like just for clout, like just to get attention, just to get views, just for content. Like the way he went to like a YouTuber's house and started like throwing water at him and the dude's security guard at like, you know, the guy, the YouTuber, he's like, what, what, how old was he? Like, I don't even know who he is. I don't know what kind of content he produces, but him going to his house, throwing water at him when he invited him on cameras just for clout. And then the YouTuber security guard just standing there when this happened, I'm like, you're paying him to like, you know, protect you so when someone does this like he should have grabbed him by the neck and threw him out of the house like right there and then and the guy was right the youtuber was like you're 30 whatever years old and like this is how you act you know it was crazy and then he smacked this other dude in the face he like slapped him not even smack and then he goes to miami and he stays at this hotel room okay granted you know like someone's stalking you like i'm not I'm not arguing that, but there's certain ways and certain approach to handle certain situations. And that was like totally uncalled for. Like clearly you can tell that like he either had like a manic episode or he's just not entirely well in the sense that he needs to like seek help. And that's not, that's something like serious. It's not like, you know, I'm not joking around about it, but the way that he like, like I just, like the cops like who who does anyone know what i'm talking about by the way uh kick has seen by far well g1995 i don't know chat we're gonna move there's people coming and i just don't want to stay here so we're gonna go on the other side okay chat uh wait we gotta how do i flip this camera thing? oh yeah here i don't want actually maybe if we do you guys like this this part here you guys like this is this fine is this better lighting actually even or should we go where we usually are see i'm very indecisive i think we're just gonna go where we usually go <laughs> i'm not gonna stay here i'm getting nervous there's too many people around wait what happened to my thing oh yeah Katrina, I have no interest in obnoxious. Uh, well, it's so funny how G1995 and uh, <laughs> uh, I can't even read your name. Smasher, you both have a different opinion on on the streamer. But yeah, no, uh, it's per no perfect there. Perfect there. You know what? I moved it because people are coming and they're going to complain. I don't want them complaining. I lost my other phone. I spoke too loud, by the way. You're like a talking Tom. <laughs> Patel, how are you? Você consegue falar um pouco português para mim te entender? Obrigado. Arojo. Uh, great lighting. Don't move. Okay, well, I mean, if, you, if a guy tells me great lighting, well, then that's good. Okay, no, so here's the thing. I thought, like, I'm with you on this G1995. Like, 
I don't think there's an issue with creating, you know, buzz or excitement or whatnot just for content, but there should be a limit of what that content looks like. And to like freaking go crazy and call the cops and have like a SWAT team show up and appear at your hotel just so you can tell them that you're the most watch, like you're the most watch streamer right now in the world is like i think he hit like 70 or 60 somewhat thousand views like good for him whatever but like and to say that to law enforcement like law enforcement couldn't care less you know like law enforcement like when you tell them like oh i'm like a streamer or i'm like the most popular kid or whatnot like it pisses them off even more so it's like you give them another reason to like you really just want to you know uh handcuff you but he didn't he didn't I think they took him to a facility to get checked for his mental condition because he was streaming for 24 hours nonstop. And yeah, he must have been exhausted and tired. But I don't know, no amount of streaming would make you go to those levels where you kind of react the way you did unless you're like, you know, you need to seek help in general because of certain mental health. Uh, issues that you might have. I don't know. It was just like next level. I was just shocked to see the entire thing altogether. Can you put water on your bikini? No, not right now. I am talking about mobiles. Wait, can you? What mobiles are you talking about? But I don't know what's going on anywhere. <laughs> I hope you got 5115. <laughs> That's mean. I'm not going to laugh about that. I mean, I don't know his health or mental history to be honest with you and that's not something that I joke around about I just feel like the situation could have handled differently because even though like you're not mentally okay or even though you're exhausted you wouldn't go to the cops and be like I'm the most stream I'm the most view I'm the most I'm the biggest streamer with the most views at the moment you know like you wouldn't say that if you're saying that you're you're like okay physically and mentally at the moment and you're technically just doing it because you know it's creating buzz and it's like what's sad about like the streaming world and whatnot is the fact that like people actually will go above and beyond to do anything and everything just so the name could be out there so even if it's like bad publicity or good publicity it doesn't really matter like look what happened with kai he went to new york he went to union square it was like a shit show he was all over the news everyone heard his name and even though the situation was handled the wrong way even though his team didn't do a good job even though like people were hurt and injured and there was chaos and like you know there was a lot of looting and businesses that like got you know affected by it at the end of the day he just became even more famous afterwards but that is nothing compared to like what what's what is his name Fauzi or Fousey but he's definitely not all there in the head he posted a video and said he will be back soon and basically said he will be coming back with more I know that he's like naturally speaking this guy is very loud like you know like he's just like all over the place all the time and ironically I feel like viewers enjoy that you know like just like who who was the I think it was um Sager or something never act cocky with Leo's never <laughs> wait I think it was Smasher who said he enjoys that you know uh, I don't think he's in a mental hospital. I think he just went in for evaluation. They took him to a facility to get checked for evaluation, which they do that sometimes when you're having manic episodes or if you're, but what I didn't understand, if anybody else was yelling at a cop like that, like those cops were really nice. I mean, like the fact that he was shouting and yelling at them and telling them that they're like idiots and they're useless and that he's gonna sue them and like all of that kind of stuff like i'm sorry but where i am like if you yell at a cop like that they don't care who you are they'll handcuff you take you to jail and find you for it so he was very 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 lucky that like you know he didn't have to um you know go to jail and any of that like they were actually very understanding of like the situation even though he was like treating them like shit which i've never seen law officers like act that way <laughs> uh Fousey, it's people waiting for him to do the next crazy thing yeah that was the point is it intentional at what point is it intentional i mean the whole time when the situation was happening he kept staring at his phone and if you're in a situation where you're super stressed out and you're not feeling well like 
you're not going to be looking at your phone to see how many views you're getting or like, you know, you're just going to be like in your element and freaking out and doing the thing and just, but the whole time he was like, look, 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 bring my phone. Like, you know, he was even yelling at his security guard, come in for my protection. Like you're surrounded by cops. Like what kind of protection do you need? Do you think they're like, do you think that your security guard has power over law enforcement officers where he could just come in and push them away? Like, I don't really understand what he meant by that. Um, you look like an angel from heaven on oh, stage one plus. What are your thoughts? Um, I can't smashers. What are your thoughts? Why did you say never call and uh, never act cocky with Leo's? First of all, who is he a Leo? What's uh, Leo is what month of the year? He might be searching water on the moon. And did you go on the, did you go out on the weekend? I did, Masood, I did. Fiku di bikini branco. I'm not really sure what that means. Manda Amorim and Re Reginaldo, I answered you. Un lugar lindo con una linda mujer perto. Thanks. <laughs> protection means rain no patel that's not what i meant by protection what i meant about protection i meant like safety security of a human being you know protecting them against harm not necessarily your dirty mind is going elsewhere leo we call oh <laughs> yes 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 smashers thank you for educating me on the on the lingo <laughs> Yeah, I thought you meant Leo as in like the, uh, the sign, the horoscope sign. And I was like, wait, is he a Leo? What does that have to do with anything? But yeah, thank you for letting me know what you meant. But yeah, you definitely don't. But what I'm trying to say is that the law enforcement officers, I don't know for what reason they were cool with them, which is really strange because if you're on the street and you start yelling at an officer, like if you're walking on the street and you start yelling at an officer for no reason, like he did, and shout at them like that, like the officer wouldn't even think twice to arrest you. They like literally handcuff you and take you in and be like, shut up. So like the fact that all of them were just standing there and taking, you know, his BS where he was like shouting on them and like down, like, you know, degrading them and whatnot. Like it was just like so, and he kept constantly staring at his phone while he was doing that. Like, Look, viewers, look, look, I'm so cool. Look what I'm doing. I'm shouting at the police officers. Isn't that cool? I don't know. The whole thing was just like obnoxious. Um, are you not able to run ads? 26 stack? No, unfortunately, I'm not. I don't know. I feel like uh, the ads only run when you go watch. Like, I don't think there are any ads during live streams. Chad, has anyone seen ads on my YouTube channel. Has, have you guys ever encountered like ads while I'm live streaming? I know there are ads when you watch my videos and my previous streams, but anything lives, you can't run ads. So I, like I can't even make money off of that, unfortunately. And <laughs> I like to be, yeah, you can put ads online. Oh, I can, 26 sec. Thank you for letting me know. I should definitely do that now that you told me. I mean, that would be a way for me to make a little something, something. Thank you for letting me know. I'll definitely look into it. I'll, I'll look into it. I guess maybe I have to click something from my computer when I go live. I don't know if I'll be able to do it just by going into the settings and setting it up. Uh, Mishra, don't worry about it. Uh, I follow Destiny streams for years and never had ads. Well, that's because... Um, you were probably subscribed to her channel, right? Are you talking about YouTube or are you talking about like Twitch or Kick? Actually, Carlos Lamar Aguilar, how are you? We got to sit down. If you guys want me to stay here, we're going to have to sit down. <laughs> What's challenging about this is that I can't see anything when I'm under the sun. <laughs> Oof. Okay, 
Can you guys see? Maybe if I turn this around like that. Can you guys see me? Maybe we should go more like this. Okay, I think now you can see me, right, champ? Uh, I would like to be your bikini tailor. Oh, you would? Did you go on any dates this weekend? Nice view when she... <laughs> I followed... Uh, I didn't... Um, I'm actually waiting for Androvsky to answer me. Any more perfect and gobble? Oh, thank you, Stakila. You would ask a question, how are you? Uh, I did uh on saturday how did you know <laughs> that was that was like a weird question because it's like as if you knew that i did let me um it's very challenging i know i say this all the time chat but when it is sunny i can't see nothing so that's why i always ask you guys if you can see me if the angle is right or whatnot because i can't see nothing okay um thank you glenn c I do. It's nice to see you on my channel from time to time. You always take the time to write comments on my videos. So I appreciate that. I do intermittent fasting and I work out. I have a couple of core at workout videos on my YouTube channel if you want to check those out. So I can't even stare at here. It's hurting my eyes because it's burning. Sun's hitting this way. Um, yeah, I have a couple of videos there, and then I also have a couple of live streams that I did at the gym working out. I have a few more live streams that I did of working out. I should definitely post them, actually, on my uh, on my channel. So maybe I'll do that over. I know I've said this, but like I have a couple of yoga videos that I want to upload, and a couple of past live streams that I did IRLs and streams at the pool that I did when I was on Twitch that I want to upload as well. So maybe I'll uh, upload one of those. Uh, Carlos Lamas Aguilar, hello, hello. Uh, how was the date? What did you do? What is what is the first date? Or oh, was it a first date? Wait, let me just answer her. It's a meme of his that his name sounds like a girl's name. He's a very old streamer. Maybe you could go on his kick show. I normally watch him on YouTube. He has a kick show. He has a show on kick, like he streams on kick and does his show. But he's on YouTube and his name is Destiny. I thought that was a girl, actually. Is that is that who you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, my date was okay. I mean, it was. I, I, if you ask me if I vibed and if I was interested, no, I wasn't. I guess I'm very picky. For me, it's like energy is everything. So if I'm around someone, I just don't like your energy. It's like already there. I'm friend zoning you. You know. What I mean, uh, but it was good. It was like fun and whatnot, but nothing. Just dinner, you know, dinner, drinks, and that was it. That's all I did. How was yours? Did you go anywhere? Why didn't you vibe with them? I didn't vibe with them because <laughs> of certain like mannerisms, and I don't know. It was just like it was like I didn't click. I guess. There wasn't much of a physical attraction to begin with, and then the, his personality was average. So if it's like the physical attraction is not really there and your sense of humor and personality is not there, like, you know, it's like I was holding the conversation. I was doing most of the talking. He was kind of like shy. I don't like when guys are shy around me, and he was just acting like a little shy and like a little bit timid and like, you know, very like self-conscious. And it kind of like, I don't know, it just like threw me off a little. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it was Saturday, not Friday. I saw, oh, you saw Drake in Seattle on Saturday. I got to touch him. When does his walk down? Oh, yeah, yeah, super dope. How was it? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was worth it? I've, I've actually never been to Drake's concert, but I heard his concerts are really good. Um, uh, fumbled the dime pee. <laughs> G1995, now that you put it that way, poor fella. Um, so when is your next workout live stream? Uh, Daniel, is that what you want me to do? Have you watched the ones that I've already uploaded, by the way? Uh, I'm waiting for the weather to cool off. And when the, when the weather cools off, we're going to do a couple of more of those. Yeah. Um, 
think I answered that. Yeah, I think I answered that. Um, wait, there's so much I want to talk about. So much that want. Oh, did you guys hear that? Or am I the only one who heard that? There's so much I want to talk about. So first off, um, I'm sure aside from the news of Fauzi and the streamy awards, you guys saw uh, what happened with Uncle T. <laughs> His merch was up. Like everyone was just like, when is the merch going to start selling? Um, did you guys see what happened? He was in Georgia, right? Uh, rigged elections in Georgia. And that's what he, uh, he had to like turn himself in to police, to like law enforcement. And it's funny because he had said never surrender, but yet he surrendered. Did anyone see that? Super cop. How are you? I answer that too. Um, uh, Oh no, wait, chat, something happened. This is my first stream, would love to see a workout one. By the way, what floor is that pool? This is their first time joining my stream. I appreciate that. For those of you that it's your first time joining my stream, trying to like the blind leading the blind, I can't see nothing. Um, I would appreciate if you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free to subscribe there. Um, I've, I, it's probably going to be in a couple of weeks when the weather cools off again. It's kind of challenging to go to the gym gym because there's a lot of people around and you're walking around with this like big tripod and people are giving you looks and it's like kind of like, you know, sometimes it's like weird. Um, that's what you, what else did you ask me? You asked me about that. Uh, I'll answer you in a second here to ask a question. If the, 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 the chat is, this thing is bugging again. Uh, what floor is that pool? This pool is on the 12th floor. Yeah, 12. Yeah. It's weird because it's like there's different kind of buildings. So every floor is different. But technically, this is considered the 12th floor. Yeah. Uh, how did I meet him? On an app, a <laughs> dating app. Who, Chad, actually speaking of, who uses like dating applications? I'm just curious to know. Do any of you use dating applications? Are you into it? Do you care for it? Or do you just go out and naturally, you know, I don't think that meeting someone is, on an app is unnatural. I think uh, both ways would work. But is this like, me, it's like I don't have really any issue meeting people. Like I could go, you know, to dinner by myself and sit at a bar and then I'll start having conversations or wherever I go. But I just feel like sometimes, like if you're not really willing to go out and about and you just want to meet someone, dating application is like the best way to go. What does chat think? Do you guys use it? Curious to know. <clears throat> yeah, super cop. I feel like this one is a little bit, I mean, it's tight. I guess it's maybe just the top because I went in the water, so it got wet. The fabric got thicker. Matico, honey boo. Uh, no, how are you? It's a new angle. I'm actually really going to move soon because the sun's hitting like right through my phones and it makes it really easy, hard for me to even look at the camera because my eyes are burning and both my devices makes it much harder for me to actually read your messages. These phones are burning. Like this one's really hot too. I'm trying to like hide it. Uh, apps for a date bang, and bang, bang. It depends on what I'm looking for. <laughs> OM, OMFG, you, you showed sign of life. You like using apps for dates and bang, bang, like chicky bang, bang, like sexy time, bang, bang. Um, nope, they are just hooking up. Who's hooking up? Um, I answered, I don't use dating apps. I'm a guy. It's too much energy. It's too much energy, me. It's too much energy for you to go out of your way to use apps. Is that what you're saying? What do you mean you're a guy? Like, what does that have to do with using the app? A lot of guys use dating apps. It depends on what you're looking for. Jeez. Um, <laughs> guys don't get matches. Huh? When you, when you swipe, you don't get, don't you get matches? Really? How does it work for guys? What do you mean you don't get matches? Yeah, like... If you're using Bumble, once the girl swipes you, then it's a match. But if you swipe them and they don't swipe you back, then it's not a match. How does it work again on Hinge? On Hinge, it's the same thing. You both have to heart each other. And when you heart each other, it's a match. So it, it, it's like both ways, actually. 
when do swipe on average men? Oh. Um, you know, sometimes it does happen that I'm just like swiping for an hour. I mean, like I'm not actually an hour on my phone swiping, but what I'm saying is that came off the wrong way. That's not what I meant. What I meant is like sometimes I could be swiping and there's like, I swipe like a hundred times and then it's like the app is like loading and it's like, oh, we're trying to find more people for you since you didn't find a match. And it's like, it's loading. And then it's like you shut off your phone and it's still loading 30 minutes later. Has this ever happened where you're just swiping and there's zero interest? on nobody and you just keep swiping and then you run out of options there is nothing like organic encounters that turns into something dating apps make this feel this all feel different you know what i don't think so like yes and organic yeah i agree with you like you know if you bump into someone let's say at a lounge at a bar at the gym grocery store restaurant and you just kind of like vibe and you start talking but i feel like it would be the same thing unless they're catfishing you see a picture of someone you're like mm, this person's yummy that is so my type and you swipe them if that person looks the same in real life you would have had that same you know i don't know that same reaction had you seen them in real life you would have been like oh that person is cute and you'd start that conversation but you're doing this through text messaging but i know what you mean like sometimes it's just like you know some people are just like are or don't believe in dating apps or just not into it or they're like I don't want to put in like energy time and effort but I feel like those people are also those that are actually looking for a relationship those are that are just looking like you know g1995 said depends what I'm looking for um, I mean if you're just looking for like a one night stand or just for a good time then I mean like the app would be like the best way to go about it I guess which by the way that's not what I'm looking for <laughs> what the other chatters meant is that men usually have to pay to get a better exposure to profiles they're interested in oh really is that what you meant here to ask a question you got to pay extra to have like access to a certain category of no i think here to ask a question said that like dating apps you know it's like women don't swipe right i think you swipe right or left on average men is what he said uh, chat, if you don't mind, we're going to move. I'm sorry, but it's like super sunny and it's like getting really annoying when I can't see my phone. My devices are overheating. So it just makes sense for us to move and go over there. Okay, let's go. It's getting hot. Oof. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. So much better. Okay. Hey, my regular spot. We're back. <laughs> it's just, it was like overheating. On the other side and yeah I didn't want to be I think this is the bigger so much better oops there we go we get to sit down here now Hey, we have a system. This towel has to go certain ways. I think this is the way we should put it. These things out. It's already fixed. There we go. Oh, much better. I can see my screens now. I can actually see my phones. Um, so it's like better. Uh, Dating apps are just a tool to get men to pay for useless product. It's in the app's best interest to make men feel they need to pay to get more matches. I mean, they are more exclusive apps, though, um, you know, that you, you have to get, like, approved for that you can use. It's like you have to, like, submit, and then it's either through referral or whatnot. They'll, like, check you. You know, like, the app that, like, celebrities use as well, like, that app use I guess it depends which app you're talking about in terms of like if you 
everyone for that app needs to pay subscription fees. So it's like for both genders. But I guess if it's not that app, then other apps, then I guess. Yeah, you're right. We aren't celebrities, though. Yeah, but you could apply. I mean, I got in. I mean, you. I guess if you apply and they feel like if they feel like you're a right match for the app, then they'll allow you to use it. It's not only celebrities. There's athletes on there. There's like celebrities. There's like normal people, entrepreneurs. It's like a combination of a bunch of people. So it's not just celebrities. Uh, wait. I, oh yeah. I'm leaving now. Uh, Super Cop, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. See you later. Man down, how are you, honey boo? Juan, you're leaving as well? Yeah, Madako. Wait, how did you know the name? I didn't want to say the name, but how did you know the name? <laughs> I'm leaving now. Maybe, maybe catch you later. I think I answered that. It's okay, move. Yeah, thank you for the permission of letting me move. Uh, yeah, super. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that here to ask a question. No. Uh, honestly the app itself it's like it's not all what it is like you know like i don't know if you guys know what the app like raya is the name of the app i didn't think that anyone knew what i was talking about i didn't want to mention the name but it's like people are more there for like exposure more than anything there's a lot of like you know oh i'm having like a yacht party do you want to join i'm having this like mansion party do you want to come and it's like if that's what you're looking for you know then great but if you're looking for something a little bit more meaningful or whatnot then you know i mean i haven't encountered more than one when i was like swiping i had seen one and he's not like a big celebrity he was from like a show my sister actually told me that he was like this guy's part of the show i didn't even know who he was i can't even remember his name i don't even know what show he was on that was it that's really the only person but I, it's not like i've used it for like years and years and i've been like using i haven't used it since i came back here actually so yeah no i'm sure i just i mean i don't know chad did you guys all know about raya <laughs> i'm just more i'm just more all it is a neck uh, net workshop bumble flippity how are you my love happy monday to you <laughs> mad green you know a thing or two hola princess como estas rodel gonzalez hola mi amor como estas hey new to your stream zane 2006 thank you for joining i appreciate it how are you I'm logging back into Kick because, like I told you guys, even though they've updated the app, I don't know why it, it keeps freezing on me. It's really annoying. Um, Jesus Christ, you know what? I just hate it when, like, I'm very easygoing. I'm open to talking about anything and everything. When, when people join my stream to be rude to me, it just really frustrates me. It's like, who are you to tell me when to talk and when not to talk? <laughs> um everyone oh my god here to ask a question your username changed now it's like all white um have you ever used oh actually you told me have you ever applied for it though here to ask a question have you tried applying for it uh, i don't know i thought the app was gonna fix the bugs but i guess it didn't because it's like the third time i'm logging out and i'm logging back in thank you juan roman the toe the toe says hi <laughs> hello yeah no the toe will never fully heal in all honesty the pain is what's there like the infection has healed the fracture has healed from what it used to be but it's always there like if i'm wearing running shoes and i'm working out certain movements will irritate it and it will actually hurt i'll be like oh my god like i need to take my shoes off kind of deal so i feel like it'll never be like at a hundred percent you know uh, unfortunately some people when they like fracture something it takes like it's hard for them to heal from it and i think that's uh, that is me no um flippity flop i think he got the message he 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 understood though i'm afraid that god will strike me down with lightning in my bed. <laughs> flippity you're so funny actually now like mods on kick have like a sword which is kind of nice before the before i think it was like a diamond right 
Uh, the pool disappeared, Army Man. We're back to here because I just, it's very challenging to be under the sun and being able to read messages and it's not comfortable and I'm constantly doing this and it's like, you know, so it's like just so much easier for me to sit down here. I can actually now see clearly my chat box. <laughs> um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, we're, there's a few things we need to talk about today. I'm, even YouTube is causing issues to me today as well. I don't know why. Okay, now it's working. Uh, this is such a weird injury to have a tragic one too since this limits activities you can comfortably do. Yeah, I mean, nobody really, I've, I've said this from the very beginning when I have fractured my toe. I was like, oh my God, chat off topic. There's a spider web that is attached to my like tripod now. How in the name of God did this happen? Did I walk through a web? <laughs> did I walk through a web when I came here? Oh, man, this is frustrating. I don't know how that happened. It is uh, frustrating because you never realize how fortunate you are to have, like, you know, be healthy until something happens where it inhibits you to do certain things, certain activities, whatever that case may be. I always say, like, there's not one injury that's better than the other. However, I do think that if you, like, fracture your thumb, you could still walk, you can still run, you can still do like leg workouts, you know, it's like you, you basically can use one hand, but you'll be able to use the other. But your legs are like the thing that you require to walk on. And so it's like once you fracture your toe, it's like that sting, like the, 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 the like literally I was getting pulses going all the way up to my to my back for like three weeks. And it's like my leg was hurting me. It was like, it wasn't just my toe, but ever since there's always that like range of motion, like depending on what I'm doing or how I'm moving around, it just pulses and it hurts. So yeah. De uh, bien belle. Oh, merci Luc Pisson. Comment ça va? J'étais dans la piscine tantôt. Tu as manqué ça, je pense. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I do. Of course I do. That that will never go away. I even mentioned this at the beginning. I knew it's like a tick. I don't know. It's like weird. Sometimes it does this in my toe. It, not when I'm not wearing shoes, but when I'm wearing shoes, it does that. So, yeah. Let's go back to... Um, Uh, speaking of, I don't know, this is completely off topic. Did you guys hear about the iPhone Pro Max? That's gonna, does anyone know when it's coming out? I think it's coming out next year, right? This September? Oh no, I think it's coming out this September. Anyway, the iPhone Pro Max apparently is going to be, well, it's going to cost 60% more than some of the Mac models that the company sells. And I think the cheapest, phone will be at 2000 I was confused because I'm like in Canada like an iPhone 13 Pro was like 1900 or something full price to buy outright and so if the price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be 2000 that means it's probably going to be like 25 or 2400 Canadian so I guess there is a big difference yeah mid-September new phones come out I was just confused whether it was um whether it was, uh, what's it called, uh, iPhone 14 or 15, that was coming out, but the 14 already came out, so it is the release of the 15. Arthritis toes, Ziggy. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the podiatrist specifically told me that you got to be extra careful and make sure that your injury heals before you wear shoes or, you know, do any form of activity. But I actually did workouts afterwards, and I stepped my toe again. I hit it on certain parts of, like, the table once the, my LED light fell on it. So I think, like, that didn't really help the situation of the healing process. And so I feel like because of that, I didn't heal 100%. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, but you know, I'm, in, I'm not getting the iPhone 15, but I, will, I need to change my phone because my phone is causing so much issues. Like, the battery just is dying really fast. So, um, and I need more memory. I'm sick and tired of constantly having to 
by like uh, you know extra storage and buying USB sticks and transferring everything on sticks because my stuff are all over the place I'm not very organized and everything is just so messy that like sometimes I'm looking for pictures and I'm like I don't even have the energy to look for it like if I took like professional photos and it's on my laptop like I'm like oh forget it I'm just not gonna post it you know and at least if I have everything on my phone it would be more accessible and easier for me to see things you know yeah you have an iPhone 11 I wouldn't be surprised if every model are getting more expensive and then they also changed the charger remember Chan when they changed the charger from like the iPhone I think it was the iPhone 10 or something or 11 from the 11 they switched the port and then it's like everyone had to buy new chargers and it's like apple knows that they're uh, you know their customers are loyal fans like very rarely someone would be like f that i'm going to android they're still gonna buy it and so like they know that whatever the price whatever the price they put out like on the market whether it's for their chargers their cases there's people are still gonna purchase it. everyone's gonna complain but at the end of the day we're all gonna purchase it right champ the toe will fight back ziggy it'll it'll fight you trimble thinks culture you're new here how are you um oh coco that's very sweet of you thank you cameron good morning to you it's actually afternoon for me this year the phones will have USB-C now european forced them to so we're all gonna have to get new chargers if you get the iphone 15 right is what you're saying um Wait, why isn't it opening? My app. Oh, I can't read your messages on KitChat because I can't even open the app. Okay, there we go. Not that anyone. Bandar, hello. Owen Live. Um, hello, how are you? Apple addicts will always exist. I mean, aren't you an Apple addict? Actually, I don't know if you are. Who here? loves like apple devices like they can't live without it should be the question i should be asking uh i think i answered everyone here too um yeah no another thing that i wanted to talk about what's the dude's name i actually don't know what his uh xerix do you have android do you like it <laughs> I i'm assuming if you have an android you must have an iphone uh, a samsung right i mean is there any other Android phone that's worth purchasing aside from the Samsung? I mean, I don't know, actually. Um, did you guys... Um... <laughs> oh, geez. It's okay. How's the camera, though? Do you care for the camera? Or do you take pictures? I honestly feel like the Android camera is better than, the, than an iPhone. Like, I've seen my friend take pictures on Android. And I'm like, oh, my God, your camera's so crisp. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You use a banana for phone calls. Do you eat it afterwards as well? Depends on your use case and when you where you live. Uh, wait, that was to answer the... Wait, you, you, Europe also forcing uh, replaceable batteries for all phones. Wait, I don't understand what you mean by that. Meaning if you enter Europe, you have to replace your battery on your device to be able to use your phone. Is that what you meant? I think just the cable. Man down. Thank you for the kisses. Deadpool, how are you? If I play Nintendo, I've played Nintendo. I don't have a Nintendo. Do they even sell Nintendos? Um, then we'll have USB-C Europe's force thumb. Pixel is good phone too. Thank you, Manda. Kumar, do you want me to stream daily? I don't know. I feel like if I stream da daily, everyone's just going to be like, um, I'm tired. Don't stream. I'm not going to join your stream. So I feel like when I'm not live as often, people will join more. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's a lot of time out of my day to stream for that amount of time. When, you know, like if you're not really getting, ah, Speaking of subscriptions, I put together this widget and it's supposed to show up at the bottom of my app, but I'm supposed to like manually put it on before I hit live. And every time I stream, I forget to turn it live. But if you're watching on kick, my goal is to reach 
50 subscription. I think we're at like 12 or 13. So if you want to help a girl out, please make sure to subscribe. Um, I know, man, down, it hasn't been moving, to be honest with you. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I don't know if it's just me or for everyone, but it hasn't been moving much. Meant Europe is trying to force companies selling and operating in Europe. I was trying to force companies selling and operating in Europe to make it so that batteries have to be easily replaceable. Um, oh, why is that? I'm trying to really understand. Like, what do you mean by like easily? Like, meaning if there's ever an issue with your phone that you can easily replace it? Is that what you mean? It was sunny two seconds ago. Well, it's still sunny, but <laughs> now it's like cold. We got to go under this stuff. better like this Ugh. this thing is wet okay. well. there we go uh, is it possible for you to show your bikini ends and what do you mean I'm showing my bikini <laughs> how else do you want me to show this bikini um thank you sahara i think i answered that too not bad just i already answered that too what was your major in college willful what do you think can you take a guess <laughs> of my what my major was my bikini is still wet and that's why i'm trying to go under the sun because it's starting to get windy and i'm kind of cold because i'm like my bottoms are really wet actually um that <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah i know i know i know i know my height i guess i mean i don't know a lot of people look at my pictures and they're like you look tall as well so i don't know if it's just on camera it's like on pictures too um at how tall are you ziggy i think you're like five nine right like based on i think you are six one or five nine Oh my god, Chad, I forgot to put again my link tree up. Chad, you guys are not, um, well, the things that are on this phone right now. <laughs> hmm. I should really delete these things from my phone. Let me copy link to whoever asked the question. I think it was program. And now we're going to, oh, thank you. Flippity, we kind of did a boat at the same time. I wanted to pin it. I always forget to pin. Cool killer used to remind me. Uh, debt pool, civil engineering, definitely not. No, I did a major in sociology. <laughs> don't ask me anything about the program. I know nothing about it. And a minor in marketing. And so, yeah, that's what I graduated from. I never been someone that was really into school, to be honest with you. What I regret, though, is like not studying, like not going to law school, because I think I would have made an amazing lawyer. Um, but yeah, no, I just, school was just never my thing, to be honest with you. I was always like, whatever, meh, you know? Uh, <laughs> and, um, I answer that as well, Deadpool. You remind me of the movie, the movie Deadpool. Who, who played in the movie Deadpool? It was, uh, Blake Lively's wet husband. What's his name again? Ryan Reynolds? Is it Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, it is Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, no, criminology, I should have, eh? I actually took criminology class in college. I took one class in criminology, actually. Um, Xeric, you answer that question too. And Owen Live, I think you're new to my channel. I always try, Jesus, oh, I already answered him. And EJ, sorry I missed your message earlier. How are you? I don't know if you're still on, but if you are, hello. Uh, well, school systems don't make it easy to, li to like what you learn. You know what? I feel like it's the responsibility of the school system, but also the teacher. I feel like teachers become teachers for the sake of becoming teachers, but they're not passionate about their job or what they're doing because that kind of like reflects on their students. When teachers walk in and like they turn on the projector and they give lectures and they have this like monotone robotic voice with zero emotions and they're just like reading off like a projector and they're talking to themselves and it's like the conversations are not like really 
engaging or you're not really interested in the topic it just the whole thing gets boring like i am not good in math but i took summer class and i did advanced math and i got like a 99 percent. and that's because my teacher was great and i feel like when the teacher loves what they do they try to like i don't know like teach in a way where it's a little bit more like engaging and easy to learn things i hate teachers that like literally give you lectures of like three hours in class and it's already boring and you're already checked out because you're not listening to a word that's coming out of their mouth although i do have add so that's also a reason why i would never go to class but then they give you exams that has nothing to do with the lectures or anything you learn in class and you're like did you literally just waste my time you made me to come to class and then you're giving all, all these lectures, but then the questions you ask are trick questions that have nothing to do with what we learn in class. We had to go read the books on top of what you taught us. Like sometimes it could be like t some teachers are out there to like make you fail. You know, they try to like trick you like that, which is also annoying. Uh, <laughs> oh, I really hope Rose a butcher or something. Um, Dated, never dated, no. Uh, been, yes. Program. Would you, you could win all cases if I was the judge. <laughs> You're a fan here from Arizona, David Diaz. Thank you for joining me all the way from Arizona. I appreciate it. Carlos Alberto, how are you? To whoever joined my server on Discord, thank you for joining. It's a multifactorial problem. Some teachers are somewhat at fault. Most schools programs suck. Most schools run their operation on a profit basis, which erodes itself. Yeah, but I mean, the school system that's running on profit basis still has nothing to do with how the teacher teaches in class. I feel like that's the responsibility of the teacher to be creative in whatever, they, in whatever way they think would suit best the you know, the topic of what is being taught in class and try to like, I don't know, like I feel like I would be a very good teacher. If I'm like very good at a certain thing, I think I would be a very good teacher and all my students would get above 90%. <laughs> I really do. I feel like when you're a good teacher, like you're, everyone passes. I remember taking a class called Marketing Yourself. It was online, I passed it, but then I did a business class in class, which I never attended. So that was also my fault. I like got the first exam, I failed badly. I got like 48% or something. The second one, I think I got like 60 something, but like I never went to class. So already getting 60 something when you've never been to class is really good. And did a good mom, dad and God did a good job when they, ah, David Diaz, I thought you were gonna say, did a good job when they sent you to school. Thank you. Uh, Christopher, I remember you. How are you doing, honey boo? Uh, Christopher, are you not on my Discord channel? Do you not get notifications when I go live? Chad, by the way, some of you always ask, like, when do you go live on YouTube? When do you go live on Kick? I generally go live around the same time. So around like, you know, 8.30, 9 a.m. West Coast time. So East Coast would be around 12, 11.30, 12 p.m. East Coast time. And then you also get an alert, like a notification on Discord when I go live. So if you want to join me there, then it just makes things much easier. Hola, Corazón Bella. Hola, Neri Nunes. Hola, Corazón Bello. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, mom, dad, and God sounds like a wild three. <laughs> It's okay. I'm just saying, Christopher, if you want to join my Discord, you'll know when I go live on a daily. Aaron Soren, how deep is your belly button? I don't know. How deep is my love? I feel like my belly button is as deep as my love. Um, pony, probably not the kind of meat you want to be chipping or chopping. <laughs> how are you, Pony? Happy Monday. Chat, isn't this music relaxing or soothing to all of you when you listen to it? No? I like to join you in all lives. David, you want to join my lives? Like actually join, join? Um, CB, are you still on? You, you said you wanted to talk to me. You were on earlier, but maybe you wrote something and I missed your message because over there it was really bad. I couldn't see anything. Teachers are limited in what they can talk about to remember the whole with CRT, LGBT acknowledgements and all. Um, actually did that affect schools like they were restricted in what they can talk about when it came to like gender and sexuality 
But I'm mostly talking about like a teacher that's teaching calculus, a teacher that's teaching physics, a teacher that's teaching marketing, a teacher that's teaching like linguistics, criminology, engineering, you know, like things like that. Like, I don't think that really like, you know, has anything to do with um, gender differences and sexuality and whatnot. And those teachers are like the worst, like they're terrible. I took a linguistics class. Has anyone ever taken linguistics here? Oh my God. It was like gibberish to me the whole thing i was like why in the name of god would i ever sign up for linguistics that was the most challenging class ever ever like literally i was fighting tooth and nails just to pass yeah you like the music it's meant to be very soothing and calming and meditating meditating can you say that i can't just play any type of music because i don't want to have copyright claims on my channel on youtube and for that reason this is the only thing we can play Still struggling with evolution versus creation. I kind of like that evolution versus creation. Uh, thank you, David Diaz. It's a hard subject to discuss through type words when you can go off with your voice. I, I know, right? It's I guess it's a hard topic to kind of like go over back and forth over text, well, over chat. Does inflation hit you yet? David Diaz, why do you say that? I'm, you laugh, so I'm not really sure exactly what you meant by it, although I understand what you're asking. It's not like, I don't think it hits one person personally. I think it hits society in general. Um, muito simpática, sempre con un bom sorriso que nos texa. I think that's con boas perspectivas. Carlos Alberto, gracias. Um, anyone here? Oh, Pony, you wrote something. This has to be the nicest setting that you stream from. You like this setting? I feel like it's like, I like this in the background, to be honest with you. I don't know why. It just adds character. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like that in the background. I was thinking of maybe moving there because it's getting kind of windy. It, it's like weird because I was like in the pool and it was like a little bit, it was like fine, but then it got like cold and now i'm under the shade and so yeah actually speaking of being under the shade we gotta charge our phone because i don't want to i don't want to have an alert all at the same time that my phone is dying but I just feel like summer's gone here, to be honest with you. Okay, there we go. Should we? I guess not. I was going to uh, move. Um, I like leaf. It adds character. So, <laughs> well, it's not a leaf. It's like a tree, right? It's not a leaf. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph Palma. Anybody else on here on YouTube? To whoever joined me on YouTube, how are you? Love you. Appreciate you. If you're watching this later, make sure to give this video a thumbs up like share share this video comment sharing always helps on youtube when you share a video so yeah feel free to share my video with your friends and family and also make sure to check out my instagram my link tree is a uh, pinned again medical i'm getting goosebumps i'm getting cold my bottoms are still cold i need sun now right behind <laughs> i'm like literally gonna move around because i'm trying to stay away from the wind it's like the wind is blowing. Maybe if we go just a little bit more. I'm trying to catch sun is what I'm trying to do. Better I do. Because I'm like, I'm under the shade. Anyways. Um, you're visiting Cali? Wait, where do you live, David? Deadpool, I've, I think I've answered this question a couple of times. Um... Well, I, does anyone remember, actually, before I answer the question? Where I am, it feels like summer is over. Pony, right? I just feel like you don't, like, you know when it's, like, summer, you wake up in the morning at 10 a.m. and you walk by the pool and it's, like, 
hot like the floor and the ground is really hot and it's like vitamin d through your bones now it's like the weather is cool and it starts like warming up around like 12 in the afternoon and then even though there's sun and i was complaining earlier it wasn't hot it's just the sun was in my face it's like now it's like all of a sudden it's like getting windy and i'm getting cold um scottsdale oh yeah you you did mention to me you're visiting uh, los angeles how is the weather in Scottsdale? I feel like Arizona is really hot. You know what? I had a viewer from Scottsdale, Arizona last year. And in Feb or March, it started snowing there. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen snow in Arizona. That was crazy. No is what she likes on a man. Yes, actually. How do you remember that? I do, but uh, for women, I like Coco Chanel. Matt was all. <laughs> Madoko, I did not paint it because I'm so like petrified and traumatized about last time that I painted it. So I'm like, the more time I give it to, you know, I don't want my nail to turn yellow again. And so that's why I didn't paint it. I'm thinking of like going to get my nails done next week and I'll paint that one too. Diaz, no, I'm not. Why did you ask? What do you mean to? Are you engaged now? What do you mean by now? It's like as if we've known each other and you're like, are you engaged by now? No, I'm not engaged. Do you see a do you see a ring on my finger? Um are you on top of an apartment? Wolfel, uh, this is the building and this is the rooftop to the building. So yes. And it's not an apartment. We call them condos here. I mean, there's a big difference between apartments and condos here. I don't know where you live, but yeah, it's a condo. But yes, you're right. Uh, Shakir, I can't answer that question. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Ramveer, PC code. <laughs> Jen, do you guys see how windy it is? Ah, oh, jeez. I need some sun. <laughs> We're going to like go far away from here. Okay, maybe this is going to help the situation. Like the sun's like not hitting this direction, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, I know you guys know that I'm very fidgety. Any movies or web series in future are you going to do? Mishka, you asked me if I'm going to be in any movies. I mean, not that I know of. I don't have anyone that casted me for a movie. I haven't even looked into any type of, you know, castings to even go and try to get into a movie. So no, nothing in the future. <laughs> Trying to warm up. Chad, um, one thing I wanted to talk about, I'm sure most of you already heard about this. I think his name is Noah Lyles. You know the, the the Olympic gold medalist? He's like a track runner. Um, he threw a jab at the NBA saying like how like, you know, the NBA is not world champion. Um, it's more like national uh, because they're not necessarily competing with other countries. It's just the NBA. So a lot of NBA players when I was like, you know, a lot of NBA players like reacted. What are your thoughts though? I think to a certain extent he is right. And like, yes, there's athletes that are like, that are like, you know, they, like there are athletes that would die to play for the NBA. But the reality is it's that the NBA is only in the US. So that's why it should be considered national. And yeah, he won like the 100 and 200 meter run, I think. Yeah, David Diaz, uh, Noah Lyles, right? Just won the world's uh, 100 and 200 meter. Maybe he doesn't know there are other countries aside from USA. Uh, <laughs> no, that wasn't the concern. He was just basically saying how, like, you know, um, it's not like a world championship league. It's more like a national championship league because at the end of the day, the NBA is only in the U.S. You don't have flags from other countries. It's only the U.S. playing amongst other teams in the U.S. And that's not like the Olympics or whatnot. 
So he was kind of like throwing like a jab or just, you know, making fun of them. I don't know. But I mean, to a certain extent, he's right. That's why I'm asking you guys a question. What are your thoughts? Um, difference between apartment and condo is ownership. Apartments are rented. Condos are owned. Yes, you can rent someone else's condo, but apartments are part of a single ownership. Uh, condos are separate owners. Um, <laughs> smashers. Um, I, do you know what? The thing is, you're right, but it depends. Like, if you live in the U.S., when you lease, you, you're, you're leasing apartments. And then condos as well. I don't know. U.S. and Canada works differently. It's just apartments generally are much older. And yeah, you are right. Most of uh, apartments are rented out, whereas like condos are, I guess it depends which country you live in, but you are right in my case. Did you see Drake's comment? It was funny. I did see his comment. You know, he was like, he must have been like practicing his speech in the mirror the night before. Well, I mean, I knew that Drake was going to come out and throw a jab at him just because he loves the NBA. Doesn't he have like shares in like, you know, he's like always watching the NBA, he's supporting uh, the Lakers and whatnot. So like, it was only natural for him to kind of say something. I'm not like, I think that there's certain, uh, like a level of truth in what he's, if, like what Noah said, you know? And that's why I was asking your thoughts about it. The NBA championship is not called the world championship, but winners can say they are world champions. The NBA is the pinnacle and includes praise from everywhere. So that was like the debate. People were like, the NBA is not only athletes from the US. It's like people from around the world fight to be part of the NBA and like they would do anything. And so you have athletes from around the world that are good and that will like be part of the NBA so that's what makes it like international but what he's trying to say I guess is saying like the teams are all in the U.S. even if there's people from athletes from around the world it doesn't really represent a country like you know when you're playing like World Cup it's like you're playing against like different countries so there's athletes from everywhere but like most of the athletes that are part of the NBA are Americans no like you get like two three from each team that are like potentially from outside of the U.S. right I mean I don't really watch NBA to be honest with you I only watch the NBA if I'm going to a game like that's what I enjoy and that's why I'm asking for you guys to clarify um Pradeep how are you SR did you watch Chopra from India, he won the worlds also on javelin throw. No, I didn't. I actually didn't. What, was it the Summer Olympics that just finished? Um, if I like Hollywood actress, I, if I like any Hollywood actress, yeah, I think uh, there's uh, some great uh, talent in Hollywood. You didn't reply to Indian? Which Indian? I'm back. I was eating my breakfast burrito from Loda Burger. I actually don't know where Loda Burger is, but Daniel, welcome back. Elliot, Ponche, Elliot, how are you? I like sports. It seems to be that you like it too. I enjoy talking about the news and different topics, uh, but I love going to watch like a UFC match. I enjoy watching a boxing match. I enjoy going to a hockey match and I enjoy watching basketball, but I don't, I don't watch it from home. And so I don't follow the NBA. Like I'm not really, uh, NBA season starting soon. Like football season is starting. See, that's how much I don't know about it. Uh, I have many messages to you on Instagram. I don't see messages, Katana on Instagram. I've already mentioned this in the past um devil's advocate to that guy not all teams are in the u.s you have toronto raptors and canada's um <laughs> okay but aside from canada do you have anyone from like china do you have anyone from spain do you have anyone from like portugal do you have like you know the, the, i guess that's what he's trying to say and that's why like i understand what he's trying to say to a certain extent um no, he won Olympics and the world top just finished. He won Olympics and the world's top just finished. So, oh man, I need some sunshine. <laughs> oh. I'm really cold, Chad. <sighs> okay, let's just go. <laughs> 
we're moving but it's like right behind me it's really cold i need some sunshine or else i'm gonna freeze like a frozen fish Jeez, my bottoms are still wet maybe i shouldn't have went in the water maybe that's what i shouldn't have done sorry hopefully this will be the last time we move okay Chia? okay oh wait but we need a we need this I need a cushion when I sit down on these things. Okay. There we go. Maybe we should bring this closer. Okay. Can you guys see my face? There we go. Okay. Sorry, Chad. I need to warm up. Even my towel is wet. It started getting cold in LA already. You know what? Like, LA weather has been so wonky and apparently winter is going to be cold in LA. So like, I'm actually not surprised. Like, but it's, LA weather has been like at 80, 90 Fahrenheit. No, that's like really warm actually. Oh, that yourself sadly can make you warm thousands of miles away. I know I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of sunshine right now. See, the sun is not as strong here. Like I can still see through the camera. I just, I need my bottoms to like dry up. Um... There is day. I'm not really understanding what that question means. Um, do you think is it enough money? Well, well, I feel like when you have, like, you know how, like, that's a really good question. I feel like that answer, everyone will answer that question differently in the sense that, like, you know, it depends on everyone's lifestyle. It depends on everyone's goals. It depends on how some people like to live extravagant lifestyles, you know, others, they don't really care about materialistic things. So I feel like you got to be very careful when you answer that question, because again, it depends on the person. I feel like there's no such thing as like too much money, in my opinion, because it's like, you know, they say more money, more problems, which is very true more money more stress more problems and whatnot but at the end of the day money gives you a sense of like stability right when you have money you feel like there are certain things that you can do to help you like they say money doesn't bring happiness and i think to a certain extent it is true i feel like materialistic things will bring you short-term happiness i feel like money will bring you short-term happiness if from the root you're not happy with yourself i feel like that'll just be like you know it'll be like you'll go on vacation but you'll come back and you'll still be sad or you'll go get a massage you'll come back and you'll buy a watch or something and you you know so like i feel like you need to feel ha happiness comes from within but i do feel like money does bring you happiness does that make sense it makes sense in my head um, I th I hope I answer your question. Woeful, what are your thoughts? Uh, played for Houston, how China played for Houston Rockets. Gazel Spain played for Bulls and Lakers and won champions with both. No, Smasher, I'm not saying if there's any teammates that are part of those countries. I'm saying the country as like, as a whole. Because like, we we both agreed that like, the athletes that are part of the NBA don't necessarily only represent U.S. athletes. It's international in the sense that there's athletes from all over the world that participate in the NBA. But I'm not defending him. I mean, I think both parties have like a point in the sense that like what he was trying to say is, I guess it's not like the Olympics. When you go to the Olympics, every there's athletes that represent each country. And it's not like one or two or three or four. It's like a handful, you know? So I guess what he's trying to say is that he considers it to be like a national champions league because at the end of the day, it's North America, I guess because like of Toronto Raptors. But like, you don't get a team of, like you don't get China, like the entire, an entire team of like China. You, you get what I'm saying? I, I know you're understanding what I'm saying. Uh, these days but my point is that nba is a world league and if the teams are located mostly in the u.s <laughs> that's what i meant <laughs> they are mostly located in the u.s oh my god champ jeez 
What's up with this top? Okay. You have, uh, <laughs> they're wet. They really are. <laughs> Too bad, Pony. That was funny. Wilful, you didn't answer the question. I'm still waiting on an answer. Are you typing away? I get where you're coming from, Smasher. I'm not like agreeing with, I think both parties are, 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 are right. I think both parties are right to a certain extent. Um, Abik Akib Malu, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. How are you? There's studies. Super cop, you're back. CB, I mentioned you earlier. I was like, you wanted to ask me a question, you left. And I'm like, maybe you asked me the question, but I didn't see because it was very sunny where I was sitting there earlier. Love, it is raining here today. Soon I'm going to go where it's always warm and the sun always shines. I hope you can come to visit or stay in long term. Well, that's very sweet of you. Thank you for the invite. Um, my English is too fast. You don't know about India? I'm not Indian, so I don't really know much about India, no. It is so wonderful. Super cop, thank you. Manda un bejo para Elias Brazil. Elias, thank you. Shaker, my body measurement. Why are you sending me, are you sending me merch? Are you sending me gifts? Um, I think you're intelligent and very positive. I adore you always and wish you all the best. Thank you, AK. I appreciate that. David, I'm five foot two and a half. So five foot three. I thought you were, <laughs> I'm Persian flippity and you obviously know that. Thank you, Maloum. Oh, Two Puff Pony, I appreciate that. I actually can't see myself today, so I'm very anxious. I'm like, I hope if my hair looks like crappy or something, someone's going to say something. I came out of the water. Surprisingly, my hair doesn't smell like chlorine. Surprisingly. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say surprisingly. That water was filthy. Like, there was so much bugs in there. I'm like, when do they wash the water? I need to go wash my, you know, <laughs> my flower later because I'm concerned. Um, Lynch, Hinch, One Inch. I'm not going to say the, 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 the last word in your username, but One Inch. Why do you call yourself One Inch? I don't think it's possible for a man or an adult to literally have One Inch. <laughs> oh, message skip. Well, classic ad. Wait, what, um, Madoka, which message do we skip? Did you write me a message that I skipped? Uh, I just said in your last video, your bikini is shorter than this one. Wait, my bikini, yes. You meant the waist part. This is a high-waisted bikini. The other one was a very low-waisted bikini, which is not something that I'm used to. Actually, Pony, you missed my last stream. I was wearing that purple bikini that you liked. Well, that was growing on you, but you didn't get to see it because you weren't on. Or maybe you were. You didn't see anything. <gasps> oh, Zika. Hugs to you. Now you could... Ha uh, um, how can you do this? Like, why is there a box around your name, Zeka? My middle name is 30 inch. That's great. After all the streams I have watched of yours, I finally joined your Discord just now. G1995 really just joined my Discord. <laughs> um, and I answered that as well. You always, any chance to do 360 later? for chat. Every sub gives you a 360. Yeah, the message is related to a study on money and happiness. Oh, the message related to study on money and happiness. Wait, 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 let me go read it. How did I miss it? Oh, yeah, there's studies showing that that shows a certain amount of money brings a world of happiness until a certain point. Around 100k a year at that time of study. After that, it doesn't contribute to happiness. I don't, I mean, there's a study. I mean, who did they base their study off of? I always want to know, like, when it comes to studies like that. Chat, Wolf was the one who started the conversation, asked me how much money is too much money. I kind of answered with the, my perspective of seeing things, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Madako just, but Madako, you didn't answer the question personally. You just said that there's studies saying that after $100,000, money doesn't bring you happiness. Does Chat agree with that? Uh, <laughs> Pradeep, uh, flippity answered you. 
Uh, Carlos Montoya, Montoya, hola hermosa, qué lindo verte de nuevo, me alegras el día. Soy Carlos de Argentina. Carlos, hola. Uh, the boss, how are you? How was your weekend? DJ Big D, I haven't seen you on here. No, no as in what? You got to be a little bit more elaborate than that. You feel like money doesn't bring you happiness. For remembering that I like the purple bikini and missed it though. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, you said it was growing on you. You're like, try it on again. It's growing on me. Uh, after a billion, would you have motivation to make another billion still? One inch thick. That's actually a really good question. Um, you have a good day. You deserve all the best. You're a good company. Zeka, thank you so much for the hug and I appreciate it. I think um, after, would you have, make another billion still? Enough that you can afford food, a roof over your head, and reasonable clothing, occasionally enough extra to do something fun. That should be enough. People always want more though. I am so open to having this conversation with you with like, there are levels after basic needs, I shoot for enough to not have to worry about money or lack. Ability to sleep well is important. Well, I can agree more with you with the fact that in today's society, because of you know, social media, and I truly believe it's because of social media and expectations and whatnot. Everyone is trying to, I don't know, show that they're living in this perfect world or they make more than they actually have to spend or show off for certain reasons. But I feel like that's where practicing gratitude comes in. And that's where like, you know, it's like always be grateful for what you have if you want to, you know, uh, attract more in your life and I feel like naturally it's something to work on because we all always want more right I feel like I'm speaking this on everybody it doesn't necessarily mean like more money but I mean like just not fully being a hundred percent satisfied at all times you're always going to complain about something you're always going to want more of something you could like buy a pair of shoes today and just instead of just being like oh my god I love these shoes and I'm like satisfied it's like the next thing is out and you're like, I want these sneakers. I want like this shirt or I want like, it's just, it's natural behavior that we all have, you know, and it's, it's tough. It's tough to like, to avoid that thought in the back of your mind. But, and again, when you said like sleeping is really important, yes, because more money creates more problems, creates more stress, creates like a lack of sleep, creates like health issues and all of that and being able to go and put your head on your pillow and sleep without having to stress about what's going on the following day or just in general is also very important because your health comes first but again that's where i touch on the point where i feel like some people it's like i want to have enough money to have like a roof on top of my head food so, so provide for my family and have okay, money occasionally to purchase you know, clothing or whatever the case may be or go on vacation. But other people, it's like, that's just not enough for them. They want to live that extra left lifestyle and have like nice cars in their driveway and go on vacation five times a year and stay at five star hotels and eat at certain restaurants, you know? And so that's why I opened that topic for conversation because I agree with you. But at the same time, I feel like if you want to live that extravagant or that extra lifestyle or, you know, lifestyle that certain people enjoy, then you would want more money. But to answer Wolf's question, when you said like, if you're, if you already have 1 billion, are you going to want 1 billion more? I feel like people who are programmed in the sense that they're already making that money for them. It's like when you make 50 million, you're like, wow, 50 million is a lot of money. But when you have that, it's just, those people don't feel like it's a lot of money. They're like, it's 50 mil. But then it's like, you're always like pushing yourself and hungry and hungry for more. I feel like that's what it is. Like billionaires are like still working. Like take for instance, like J-Lo. She has like enough money to live and she's constantly pushing boundaries and like creating TV shows, being in movies. That girl works hard like an animal and I'm like, you're like 50 now. I think it's like time for you to enjoy your life. But she's like part of campaigns, part of new movies. Every time she has like a new show coming out, she's like all over the place. So I feel like celebrities specifically, they have this like fear of like not being in the limelight. And the minute like 
people don't talk about them, they're like hungry for more. They want their name to be out there because that's all they know, you know? So there's certain people that are just not happy or comfortable with what they have and they're constantly want to want more, which actually touches back to your subject. Being rich is definitely the toughest. Always be grateful for what you have. What if I have clinical depression? I know. I mean, it was 75K a year in 2010. Now it's estimated to be around 500K a year. I'd say that's about right for someone living in the US. I align with that sentiment. For me in Europe, the threshold would be lower. Hope um, much longer. Do you think you'll be able to do pool streams? Um, you know what, uh, Pony, I think in the next two weeks, it's like, we're going to be going downstairs in the lob lounge area, not the lobby, but I'll be doing pool streams in the lounge area because on kick, you don't have to be next to a pool. So I don't care about that. So I'll just like stream in the lounge. It's just going to be a little bit more cooler and colder. Chad, I'm burning like <laughs> my, uh, my legs are burning. I got to take out my lotion. Literally, I'm like, I feel like my leg, I haven't tanned at all this summer, but this left leg is next level right now. Gotta hide these phones too. Um, yeah, Pony, that's what I'm going to be doing because being just rich is boring. In order to be a billionaire, you have to screw over someone. I don't think that's, I mean, I don't, I guess... I was going to say that's not true, but I understand where you're... Chad, am I even on camera? <laughs> the sun's fully out now, so I can't really see. See, I burnt. <laughs> New way of applying lotion. I literally burned on this leg. Whew. It's dangerous. Yeah. Um... I think you're right to a certain extent in the sense that like big corporations and company must have maybe not like screwed over, but like done things that are not necessarily legal when it comes to financing, accounting or writing off, like writing off things for tax purposes, you know, like to a certain extent, you're right about that. But you don't like necessarily become billionaire overnight that's like more like wealth money from like families or big companies that have been out for a very long time that have existed uh jeez every billionaire is a policy failure you can't make this amount of money without yeah I set more clients than employees, actually. Like, that's what I would think. You do if you win the lottery. Yes, you're, you're right, the boss, actually. Well, I have three pairs of shoes. If you're busy, you have no time to be depressed. I mean, I don't necessarily fully agree with that, to be honest with you, because I feel like depression is something that, like, yeah, some people are depressed it's a very tough topic to talk about depression takes many shapes and forms and i feel like you could be overwhelmed with the amount of work that you have to do and the stress level that you have to accomplish something to achieve your goal or just the stress of every day when you're running your own business and that can literally hit like you can literally hit depression because of it you know rock bottom and then you're super depressed and you feel like you can't function even though you have it all you know there's a lot of people that are like wealthy millionaires and billionaires that are depressed that are sad that are unhappy but i feel like the root of the problem is not necessarily the money it's just that they were never or they never addressed their trauma or whatever experiences that they've had and they just feel like even with the money it doesn't bring them happiness but they were not happy from the beginning without the money. So that kind of like, that's something that people don't necessarily explain. It's like, if the person is depressed and unhappy with the money, were they unhappy prior to the money or were they really happy and then they were unhappy because of it? Um, what are your thoughts on slinkinis? Would you wear them on public beach or keep it private? Life is fun. Stuins official, would you like to send me a few? If you send them to me, I'll wear them. 
David Diaz, I don't. Like if I'm a professional, no, I'm not. Drug fashion is people who think too much. Yes, I know what you mean. It's like people who like either, you know, they think too much or like they have free time in the sense that they're not really doing much and they're not social and they're more like extroverts and they don't know what to do with themselves or, you know, it takes many different, it's a very sensitive topic. So I don't like like, you know, addressing it or judging and saying like, you know, depression is people that like just have too much on their mind or just think too much because there's like some of it is hereditary as well, you know? Uh, Bodo King Hacker, thank you for joining all the way from India. Uh, which one do you most like? Money, luxury cars, luxury house, or your boyfriend? Well, I don't really think that would, because I mean, if you have money, then you could buy a luxury car, then you could buy a luxury house. And then to say, which one do you prefer, your boyfriend? Well, I don't have a boyfriend, and it's most of the divorces are led because of miscommunication and financial problems. And so it would be a lie if I would say I would be with someone that's not like, you know, like most people will divorce because there's one party that's not financially stable or money is always a conversation or topic of argument. So, um, it, it, I mean, I, for me, I think money is important. To a certain extent. Uh, te quiero preguntar tu estado soltera, casada para conocerte un poquito. Preguntar, I think, is like question, right? Te quiero preguntar. I like. Te quiero means I like. Carlos, some people have problems money can't fix and die over those problems because all they know is how to make money. They don't know how to take care of themselves. Um, but that's why I'm saying it's a case by case basis. I think Wolf was the one who started the conversation. Oh yeah. Basketball now Spain versus Brazil. Are you who's winning Spain? The more money you have, the bigger the bills. Well, that's just normal. It comes with the territory. I thought most divorces were because the wife wasn't pulling her weight. <laughs> Oh my God, the boss. Whoa. I don't see my chat box anymore on kick, actually. Oh, now it's showing up. I have ample of money. Please be my wife. I thought it was your boyfriend. Wait, <laughs> Pony, are you saying like which is most important? And you thought I was going to say my boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. So it's like tough to answer that question. I guess if I had one, I could have answered the question better or easier. The overworked office workers in Japan that sleep on the streets coming home. Wait, in order to be a billionaire, you have to screw over someone. The overworked office workers in Japan. I see where you're coming from, one inch thick. Like you have a point in the sense that like, you know how like they import clothes or manufacturers that are like in China and Japan that are overworked with like unsanitary like work environments or, you know, um, I mean, it's sad. It's what the reality is. That's how like multi-billion dollar corporations operate, especially in the apparel industry, I would say. But I'm not bitter or jealous. Money is mostly everything. Money isn't mostly everything. Chat, missed the early part of the stream where you describe how your last date went this week. <laughs> No, I think just some people in chat think I have a boyfriend. I think that's what it is. Jeez, I'm burning on this leg. What is going on? I keep applying lotion. Because I have like this issue on my leg here, right here. Ah. And now I can't see my phone at all. Boa tarde. Uh, psycho horror, psycho horror. <laughs> that's a funny username. That's got nothing to do with billionaires. That's got something to do with corrupt governments. Well, no, it does have something to do with billionaires because, you know, like let's say for instance, like Adidas, Nikes, that's not part of the government. They're billion dollar corporations that are not necessarily doing everything by the books. Uh, you know, I, I guess it's a, it's a combination of both 
corporations uh, and government. I don't have vinegar. It's kind of hard to believe that you are. David Diaz, is it? I guess it's by choice. It is by choice. Wait, she doesn't have a boyfriend? Jet, Moondor, I don't. I would like to send you some thongs. Would you wear them, Daniel? Sure, I'll wear them. Just make sure if you're going to send me bikinis or thongs, they're extra small. Uh, or else they're not going to fit. Yeah, but billionaires can only work in government guidelines. Yeah, no, you'd be surprised. That's not true. Like, they work in government guidelines, yes. But, like, I mean, when you're writing off taxes, when you're doing, like, your taxes, at the, your income taxes at the end of the year, when you're employing certain people to do certain jobs, when you're underpaying your workers, like, those are not, like, the government that takes those decisions. It's the company and the employer that makes those decisions. You know, big companies are always going to be corrupted. Uh, sorry, if it wasn't because of government, why do people not pay people in America $2 like they do? And oh, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. But I'm not just talking about like the salary. They can like take, for instance, what's going on with the Hollywood industry right now, where writers are getting paid like donuts compared to what the big corporation and streaming services are making. Netflix is like, paying them one two thousand dollar to write a script but then like netflix is like showing that on their platform and they're making like millions and millions of dollars when the writer who is the one who came up with the idea of the script is making nothing and that's not because the government is telling them that that's how much you should pay them that's like the corporation taking on that decision so yeah there is a thing called like minimum wage but what if like like Obviously, there's like athletes, like NBA players are making millions of dollars when I'm sorry, but I don't think athletes, regardless of how good you are, can justify the amount of your money you're making. They're throwing money in their faces, whether it's like soccer players, football players, whatever the case may be. Yet like doctors, depending on which country you live in, you're saving lives. You've studied for years to go to school and you make nothing compared to what these athletes are making does it justify what they're getting paid hell no i don't think athletes deserve what they're getting it doesn't mean that you're not good it doesn't mean that you're not working hard but it's like you're living this lavish lifestyle just to play hoops when you get like off time from work the majority of the year go to the best parties fly in fly private jets but like aside from providing entertainment how much are you contributing to society as a whole aside from entertainment which, you know, that's the reality. Entertainment plays a big part in today's society. Um, uh, Sahar, does Hollywood write up the laws for America? No, they don't. <laughs> Wait, OMG, who decides the rules? The government decides what the tax bills are. Yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong, the boss. Uh, what I'm saying is that I think it's a combination of both. I don't think it's only the government. I think the companies also based on not like tax rules, not on minimum wage, not on salary. I'm talking about just in general. Corporations play a big part in that as well. I've never, oh, thank you, David. Muhammad, Ismail, after all this time, you still have not hired a pool boy to assist you during the stream and lotion you up. <laughs> <gasps> oh boy you're like no i haven't but maybe next time i could ask that you know I, I became friends with a concierge here that comes on the rooftop every day and cleans the barbecues and whatnot um maybe next time i'll, I'll ask him to apply loshi loshi for me uh, the boss you don't agree with me you don't think it's both you think it's all so you're telling me like you don't think corporations have anything into this like you really think it's just the government's to blame and corporations are innocent. Um, Mr. Lover, Nature, Younger Man. <laughs> and I'm 12. Hey, what are your thoughts? Nobody here on kick is answering. Our attitude to life determines life's attitude to us. I think it's the same thing as saying like what you put out in the universe is what you get in return. So the more positivity the most the more gratitude the more you're kind to people the more you draw and attract those things back to you i think it means the same thing 
uh, what's cooking good looking? I don't know. I'm baking right now under the sun. I was complaining that the summer summer is over and it's really cold. And then now it's really, really hot. My leg is burning. It's going to turn into like a barbecued rib. Uh, yeah, I want to hear something crazy, but I have a feeling that what you're going to tell me is not so crazy. I think you're like tricking me. My, my devices are burning to think about how capitalism works and its flaws on a kick chat. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, that's what the whole, you know, I'm here to have open discussions and conversations with y'all and I'm open to everyone's perspective and opinion. I'm not opposed to it. I'm not saying I'm right, you're wrong. I'm just having an open conversation. And not raining, she would be running around like a headless chicken. By the way, the boss, you were on the call with Elon Musk. I wrote to you, you missed the show, but I only saw your reply the next day because I was out. You missed the show because I was saying Elon Musk show. He was on earlier and he dropped. He left. So when he joined, he was already gone. I did not stream on Saturday, by the way. Uh <laughs> <gasps> that was funny though you made me laugh so hard that night i was like oh my god the boss was on as well this is so cool what do you think about california crazy state overall i feel like california is very expensive but maybe i should say more like los angeles part i mean san francisco is really expensive los angeles particularly is very expensive i think the homelessness crisis has gone to the next level i don't think think that you know the city or the governor is doing much about it but it's not something very easy to address it's not like find them shelters and they're they're gonna go and live it's like these people want to stay on the streets the majority of them like it's hard to like take them from off the streets and provide them shelter and a home and education and you know therapy and whatnot because like a lot of like homeless people are just looking for their next quick fix and you know so it's a tough and challenging yeah i mean even elon musk addressed it that he would be open to giving money if we can find a cure or, or you know a solution to homelessness i don't know it's like but california is very expensive but at the same time it's like there's no sunset like California there's no like weather like California I don't know Europe is very beautiful I haven't visited everywhere in Europe so I might be answering this question not but, you know I haven't visited the world so I'm just answering this based off what I've seen in North America and certain places certain countries outside of North America um needs to upgrade his data package it was freezing every five minutes <laughs> you're talking about Elon Musk um next time write cnt the boss my sweet los angeles princess is are going to have another one of elon musk's babies i've never had a baby with elon musk and actually i've never met elon musk like face to face thank you david diaz i appreciate that i was saying let the car drive itself <laughs> I got muted. Really? Wait, you weren't able to talk. You had to put in a request to speak. And I, I actually was surprised if they would let anyone speak. The speakers were there, but that was it. It was like him and then certain people that were allowed to speak. All, uh, she told me I have to be quiet telling you all she's my... <laughs> Everything is minor for me. Okay. I think we answered everyone here there's so there's no money for them to get rich off by helping homeless <clears throat> um jiffy there's nothing more irritating to me than when people ask me anything about fancy fans on any other platform i just don't like answering that question because i mean if you're not willing to pay the like 10 whatever case may be, then maybe it's not a good idea for you to subscribe after all. But I just don't like when people ask me that question. I just like, if you want to know, then sub. And if you don't, then that's totally fine as well. And um, nothing comes free. So $10 doesn't give you nudes, no. Uh, there's no money for them to get. I already answered that as well. Uh, Elliot, thank you. 
Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> no, the boss. That's not true. Actually, it made me smile on Friday. You know what happened to me, the boss? No, this is just like when people ask a question like that. It's just like, it's frustrating because it's like insulting. It's like, should I spend $13 or not? Whenever someone says that, I'm just like, you know, a smoothie at Air One costs you $22. Like, life has become so expensive that like I mean nothing comes free like I don't really understand why people have this certain expectations where they get to get everything for free you know um anywho no actually the boss you know what happened to me on Friday when you wrote that sweet message I I, I laughed but then uh YouTube gave me like was like you're not you're not allowed to stream for the next week and I got a strike on my account and I started freaking out I'm like what did I do first twitch now YouTube I started freaking out they they deleted my vod and then i had to like reach out to them and they're like sorry we made a mistake and then my vod I, I, after what happened like i started freaking out on friday because of that i know it was totally off topic but you said that i wasn't in a good mood and i'm actually in a good mood uh, <laughs> we can see you properly you can't sorry i can't see me is it better now can you see me now Ow! Ow! I stepped on this. Um, if life isn't free, then why am I working here? <laughs> Flippity flop, you volunteered. But if you don't want to, that's okay as well. <laughs> um, can you see me now? Now it's better. Chat, sorry. My screen's black. I can't see anything. So you got to tell me if I'm on camera or off camera. <laughs> um, it's my understood. It's blurry. Is it really blurry? Thank you. One inch, one inch. I'm going to call you one inch. We got to find you a nickname or like a use. Yeah, we got to find you a new nickname. Inchy. One inchy. Can I call you one inchy? I kind of like that. One inchy. <laughs> you seen that uh, Patty Pimblet Photoshop Discord as well? Wait, which one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. <laughs> I commented on it while I left an emoji under it because I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Honestly, you share some of the funniest memes. By the way, chat, for those of you that are on my Discord channel, I would love for you guys to like participate and you know share whatever it is that you guys want to share. That's what the platform is about. So don't hold back. Don't feel like you got to be quiet. I don't know what's going on with the sunscreen. It's like very pasty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, um, wait, did you, I mentioned this earlier. Who uh, heard about Uncle T? I kind of felt bad about him. Who is, uh, who has an update on his merch? Like how much of it did he sell? He's just such a little funny goose. I want to like squeeze him. I don't know why. I want to like, he's so tall too. I just want to like grab him by the cheeks and squeeze him. Um, I feel like he might won the election in 2024 with everything that's going on. I mean, like, I don't know, it's too early to talk about that, but I don't know. There's just like, he's received so much backlash ever since he ran in the office. It's like next level. I don't think any president out there received as much backlash as he has. Um, and the amount of money he had to spend on lawyer fees to clear his name time after time after time. It was pretty badass though. He went, um, he surrendered and uh, he had like at least 10 cars. He was like in Georgia, Atlanta, and he was like, never surrender, although he did surrender. And um, I don't know where he was going. Was he like driving to court or to police station or whatnot? Uh, he was followed by like 10 cars. I thought that was pretty gangster. Um, With, um, I love the fellow who sells the shoes with a black and white cat. Wait, which black? Oh, yeah. And then there was a picture of him with like an orange. <laughs> that was his face and then lemon for his hair. <laughs> that was like one of the funniest memes I saw on Friday. I thought it was so funny. Am I the only one who thought it was really funny? Chad, my phone is overheating. Whew. 
try to keep things cool. You sold millions. I'm telling people on Twitter I'm from Texas and getting everyone riled up. <laughs> is his team selling or is it like someone random that's selling merch for him? Um, have you seen the video of the woman who's doing commentary on the Trump? No, I, I, I haven't. Is it on Instagram or is it on Twitter? Oh, oh. oh. Sorry, chat, my back hurts. Whew. I'm trying to get a one with Steve Bannon, even like my tweets. Really? <laughs> this is so hard. I'm in with the top maga me. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually really funny. I didn't know this. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Cake, where's everyone at? You guys are awfully quiet today. Is everyone on YouTube? If you are wondering which messages I'm reading, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. Chat, we might be moving soon. I'm sorry. I was cold earlier, but now I'm dry. <laughs> it was really cold earlier. My bottoms were still wet and the wind was blowing, so it wasn't really helping the situation. Faceless dog, you're back. Mm, Vesit arasando su viciado no tu canal muanjo. I don't know what that means. Chad, do we have anyone on kick that speaks Spanish, by the way? Any? Spanish viewers on my channel. Oh, thank you, Raheem. By the way, Chad, what did you guys all do over the weekend? Did anyone go out? Did anyone party? Did you go out for dinner? Did you go to the gym? Did you go to the beach? Did you go hiking? Anything? Oh, oh my God, that bumblebee was in my eye. It's so scary when they're like close to your eye. I don't want them to poke me. Imagine tomorrow, <laughs> my eye will be this big. What is that? What is that? That's cre creep me out. I went to see my friends out a few hours away. All oh, your neighbors, well, your best friend that used to be your neighbor, I'm, guess I'm guessing. Can chat, chat, can we go to her place and sit with her and chat? Daniel, that would be lovely. Actually, I would love to have you guys here on the rooftop with me right now. We could all join my stream. That would be cool. Weather, how's the weather in France right now? Is it chilly? Is it getting cold? Uh, pub executives. Pub again, gym. Oh, pub X's. Pub again, gym, then run. Slept in today, run this morning. Now just drinking Red Bull, scratching my little toe. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, it's getting cold. No, I don't party. We have had constant flood rains over here. Oh, my God, that really sucks. That's in Egypt, right, CB? Because that's where you, you are right now. Flood rains? No elder age, no little age. Listen, I don't see executives. I'm not posh. I, I So you, you met with your exes? Really? For a quickie? You do that? Do you like break up with your exes and then meet with them again? Who does this chat? 
who is like the type that be like, once it's my ex, I don't go back. Like I just move forward. And who's like, yeah, it's my ex. And then like five months later, they'll like smash, you know, like, do you do that? Or it's like over once it's over. I'm curious to know. Legit question here. Uh, oh, and right now you're in Europe, but you're soon going to go to Egypt and spend time there. Not for my son. <laughs> It's around 25 these days. We dropped 15 degrees in a week and a half. Medical, I feel like climate change has impacted everyone. It's like random. Winters in destinations that used to be hot are now cold. Weather, like one day is like, you know, 81. Next day, it's like 60. One day, it's sunny. One day, it's raining. Two minutes, it's like freezing cold. After, it's like... Earlier, I was complaining because there was too much sun. It wasn't hot, but there was too much sun. I couldn't see anything. Then I went under the shade and it was perfect for like 10 minutes and then it became windy and cold. Then I moved here and it was totally fine and now it's like super hot. So like weather is like wonky. P, you joined. How are you? I have two daughters with one woman, a son with another. The boss, do you really? You never talked about your kids. Do you really or you're playing with me? Because most of the time we're just playing around. Uh, Ilya, I'm the same as you. It's like once you're my ex, that's like finito, like finished, Denzo. There's no like, oh, what ifs? I shouldn't. Like, no, it's like, it's finished. You're out of my life. Never hooked up with an ex ever. I feel like that's good. I, it's, it's crazy that only two, two of you answer the question. Anybody else? I'm delicious. How about yourself? Is everyone behaving? Everyone's having a great time. I'm doing um, extra delicious, I guess. Uh, never, yeah, climate change is my summer. It's been shit summer here. You're, you're saying this summer was very, it was raining or cold, right? You haven't had like heat waves or hot days. Last year it was roasting. This year it's been as wet as $20. <laughs> oh my God, you and your comments. I wish I could read these comments out loud for... Uh, uh, for my kick viewers to, to listen to, but I can't cause we're on YouTube. I'm 31 me, you know, I don't know how old these are. I don't know how old these are. I have been to Red Sea. Oh, you've been to the, oh, Red Sea, not the Dead Sea. I really want to go to Israel. That's one trip I really want to do. I want to go to Tel Aviv and I want to go to the Dead Sea in all seasons and never saw one rain drop. Only once I saw clouds at 7 a.m. Really? You've never seen a raindrop in the past five uh, seasons or five years. Army man, I haven't because I'm not really sure, you know, what the expectations are. I think maybe it would be good for me to do one live and like, you know, ask and whatnot, but there needs to be some form of contribution where everyone's contributing to certain something, uh, you know, but no, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. There might be 20 year old fresh. Uh, I feel <laughs> Oh, five vacations in all seasons. Yeah, no. Uh, hey, did you know about your, our body is made of 70% water? Sophie, how are you? And social, you're new to my channel. Thank you for joining. No, I, I mean, yes, I did know. I don't know if mine is made out of 70% water because I was just saying earlier on when I started my stream, how I just realized that I drank a cup of water like this for the past three days. That's all I had in terms of water. And I just realized that this morning. So this morning when I woke up, I put in the effort to drink a little bit more water. I was like, I got to chug a bit of water. Um, it's horrible. His shouting help and dad help them. You see it drag him around. Have you ever seen the video of the person getting eaten alive by the shark in Egypt? It's brutal. They found the shark and killed it. Oh my God, that's so sad. So did the kids die? Sharks are so dangerous. This is why I have like a light a love-hate relationship like I love oceans I love the beach but I'm not the type that's gonna just you know be adventurous and just you know go far off in the water I'm the type that's gonna stay close to shore and just go with water up to here and then just get out of the water I like going to the beach more just to like go in the water quickly and come out because it's salt water and it's good for your 
scared. Uh, but I don't necessarily go and just swim. So sharks creep me out and that would be the most scariest thing anyone can encounter. That would be like scary. Um, shark in Egypt, where? Oh, thank you for the heart. No, it's a, I, I, I mean, you wouldn't miss, I guess you would call it like a songish bikini bottom, I guess is what you would call it. I don't think he was a kid, but it's graphic. I, in my eyes, because you see when the shark loses its rag and starts tearing. Ah, oh, so it's like blood everywhere. It's so, I'm actually surprised that type of, where did you see that you said on YouTube? Oh, um, my half family is Jew and half Christian. There is always fight in my family whether baby boys should undergo what do you suggest i mean i don't aaron are you being for reals i mean your name is jewish are you for reals i mean i don't really think i'm in the position to really make a decision although i don't think that's what you're asking you're asking for my opinion i don't know it depends how religious each party is if like your jewish side of the family is more religious than the christian side that i would do what the jewish side is saying but if the christian side is as religious then I don't know, flip a coin. That's a very difficult situation to be in. DJ Thunder, lovely to see you. Have you been to Israel? I really want to go. No, it's... Uh, no, it's not blood. One second, we'll go find out on this score for the people who don't go out. <laughs> um... Super cop, I do, yes. Why do you ask? No, but you said half of your family is Christian, right? <laughs> Tasty trees, chop off an inch of his <laughs> penis for good. That was funny. Um, George Caulfield, good evening to you. It's afternoon for me, but it's evening wherever you're from. Daniel, you're laughing at the comment that was passed. Uh, well, what, what is, what do you suggest? Like, what are you going to do? I, I guess everyone in the family is going to vote. What's your vote? Wait, where is that? Gibraltar? Where is Gibraltar? George, I don't really know where that is. Oh, what did I click? He's an inch of his to use as skin grafts. <laughs> um, DJ Thunder, I hope your dad feels better. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, chat. Wait a sec. Oh, Gibraltar is by Spain. It's an incredible place with monkeys that share the cat with you for reals. Oh my God. That's like Bali, right? That's crazy. It's called the Rock of Gibraltar. Is it close to Mallorca, George? I put it on Discord. Let me look. I mean,
Why is it not playing? I can't even see it. It's like loading all of a sudden. It's not working. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? But why is no one helping him? Oh my god. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, I can't watch this. This made me so sad. This is really sad. <laughs> my god, the lady that was filming, did she tell anyone to go help? I mean, I don't understand when people don't like... Oh, that was so sad. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that was sad. I saw him in the same beach in a nice hotel, but they didn't mess with me. You, you saw him in the exact same beach that, that, that this poor kid got attacked? Uh, <laughs> honestly that was really sad it affected me emotionally oh that was really sad i mean like imagine being the child the mother or the father of that child and seeing your child get devoured by a freaking shark and it's like to a certain extent you're helpless because it's happening so quickly but why was the kid in the first place so far away in the water like if i have a kid there's no way in hell are they going anywhere further than their like ankles in the water like there's no way that i would ever allow my child to just go swimming that far away in the water erin i love you as well isn't it in um, hebrew don't you say like it's like a it's khamshili khamshili i think that's what it is um it's okay, Babs. I gotta go now. I go laying down. I talk to my father tomorrow. DJ Thunder, have a great day. Uh, I think I answered that as well. I would punch that shark in the shark in the gut so hard it coughs out my childhood. <laughs> I mean, at that point, he was so far in the water. Oh, oh my God, he's about twenty. I don't care. I mean, okay, it's not a kid, but that's still crazy. That was a Russian man. Oh, that dad made the right decision. I'd left him as well. The boss, are you being serious right now? <laughs> Jeez, you guys are like monsters. Elliot, did you watch the video? Uh, I think they're on a little boat. Oh, you meant the boat in the back was the, the the family was on that boat? I thought they were on like all, like outside of the water on shore. Oh, you didn't watch the video. It's on my Discord for those of you wondering what we're talking about and what I went to watch. Uh, it would ruin my little peach. I don't freaking care. It's your child. Uh, yeah, I remember this was about 30 days ago. 30 days ago, Ian? Uh, quand avec le mini bikini tropical, quel bikini tropical? Je me rappelle plus. Oh, sun's going away. Woo. Cat, we're going back to where we were sitting. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Oh, my back hurts. Oh. Some of you would probably know why my back hurts. Would you please attend? Would you please attend Briss Circumcision if I invite you to Tel Aviv? Have you ever watched? No, I don't know what that is actually, Erin. What is that? Oh, like this, I can see messages very clearly. <laughs> Hide under my little thing right here. 
Winky, winky. Well, there's one in Australia. The fishermen stand. They go, Van, go bloody hell. He asked for help, but no one can help poor man. I mean, the boat could have, like, tried to, like, get to him very quickly. I don't know. There, there must have been someone who could have done something. I know it was really sad. I got really sad watching that. I got, like, emotional, actually. <laughs> it was, like, too much. Well, there's one in Australia. Has anyone here ever felt a shark's tooth? They're sharp as F. You know what? Speaking of sharks, it's crazy, but I actually... Um, there was a video that I saw. They said, like, if ever you encounter a shark, a shark, a shark had to, like, approach the situation like you gotta like hit him as hard as you can in like the face area and like as you're hitting him like try to like swim away i'm like easier said than done when you're in a situation where you're in the water you feel powerless for one you're like stranded in the middle of nowhere no one's around you and you have this big humongous shark in front of you that's like a scary moment right there it's like and their mouth is so huge it's gonna like eat my little feet in a matter of seconds you know it's like you're and okay I, I take it like if you're a little bit stronger a little bit bigger your arms a little bit longer but me competing with a shark like i'm like this little button next to the shark like it could eat me in one bite <laughs> like literally it could eat me in one bite um watching a circumcision really looks like a riveting time <laughs> <gasps> oh, take a kitchen cut warm butter that's exactly how it is for a shark to pierce your flesh would you rather be in by a shark or an alligator i don't think either or experience would be fun because they both have very sharp teeth and they're both capable of eating you with a couple of bites you know um I, I, neither or actually i think either or is as bad Someone who could help him. He's called Superman. Unfortunately, he doesn't exist. But the boss, you literally said if your kid was being eaten by a shark, you wouldn't go help. Is that what you're telling me? That's brutal. Um, take a kid. I already read that as well. Would you rather be eaten by... And I answer you, Jan Mundar. Never can hit him. It's huge. Shark never can even hit him. Alfred Ibarra, hello. My day is going wonderful. Would you please attend Briz? I already answered that. All right, you, wait, you said you live in Tel Aviv? I didn't know you lived in Tel Aviv. Answer that as well. Now, anything where the danger is coming from beneath you is terrifying. I know, right? Uh, it's a shark, but ju just because it's my son doesn't remove the reality of the situation that in that water, he's the boss, not me. Chat, how about the rest of you? I need everyone to answer this question. If you had a kid and God forbid your kid was like stranded in the middle of the ocean, you were close by, whether on a boat, um, and you would see your child being eaten by a shark, would you do something or would you be like, oh my God, oh my God, and cry and just stand there? There was actually a footage or a video of this kid that fought off, it was a dog though, granted, from his sister being devoured by the dog that was super aggressive. And the dog like bit him everywhere. He was like fully injured. His face was like swollen. It was like a boy that uh, helped his son. Uh, his sister, I mean. I would try and save him, sacrifice myself if I had to. P, would you really? Best case scenario, pray it's quick. Oh, you're driving me cray cray. That would mess with somebody who's called the boss on YouTube. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, save child, a tar shark with knife. I mean, the thing is, if you're somewhere and like there's no knife near you, like this happens and you're at the beach, not a lot of people bring a knife at the beach unless they're really going to have a picnic. So you wouldn't have a knife. You would basically have your hands and you've got to like fist that shark in the face and like try to like, you know, maybe his leg, like he'll attack the leg, he'll eat the leg, but his body will still be alive, you know? And then they're going to have to take him to the emergency room on a helicopter or else he won't even make it, he or she or whatever. Wouldn't make it. Uh, I would jump in that uh, in and punch the shark. Jet Mundar, you would do that? 
<laughs> it's okay seeing all this on YouTube, but trust me, when you see that shark remove his body parts like popcorn, you will second guess. I don't know. That makes me sad, actually. I would think like everyone would be like, no, I'm going to go help my kid out. Are you kidding me? I got logged out of the app again. Nothing new. Chat, we're going back to sit in the, in the shade. Let me just log in here. Saharita, Saharita. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got him. Yeah, 100%. Wait, super cop. Do you afraid? You you meant? Are you afraid? Uh, I mean, afraid. I mean, I wouldn't want that. So no, that would be embarrassing. Chat. We're going in the. We're going back in the shade. It's time to move. <gasps> See, I hit my toe again. It hurts. It hurts. Let me move this first. Ouch! Oh, I do this all the time. Oh, I need some shade. Definitely need some shade now. Grab this towel and this. Now, of course, we can't forget this. Whee! There we go. <gasps> Chat, the spider web is actually still on here. I was right. There was a spider web. Oh, it feels so much better when you get out of the sun and you're, like, burning. Weather is bipolar. It's, like, all over the place all the time. It's kind of annoying. Where is my other phone? It's right here. Okay. So now we get to sit down. Okay. Should we put it more like this? Okay. And then do a standing. Hey. My music stopped. Did anyone else notice that? By the way, who's on uh, who's on Facebook? Do we have anyone on Facebook right now? Um, wasn't even a great white as well. I think it was a tiger shark. Wait, what's the difference? Carlos Lamas Aguilar, Alfred Ibarra, Ismail. I don't send my personal information to anybody. Why well, would I do that, you silly goose? Um, I'm standing to attention and no national anthems playing. <laughs> I don't know why my Spotify stopped. Spotify. There we go. God, I love me some relaxing music. Oh, this is happening again. Okay, it's working. Aaron, what do, would you like to watch with me? <laughs> I hit my toe twice. It's really annoying because I can't take care of my toe. And hence the reason why I always get injured. Chat, should we tie my hair? Oh, I have like sunscreen with a combination of that dirty water. It made my hair like so nasty. Get away. Um, hey, who watched, I think the show was called The Price is Right or something. What was the, the gentleman's name? Bob something. He passed at the age of 99 years old. I didn't even know he was 99. He passed over the weekend. But at least he passed peacefully. Apparently he passed away in his house while he was sleeping or, you know. That I feel like if you're going to die, the most peaceful way to die is in your own house or in bed or when you're sleeping. You know, like you're peaceful. Like the worst way to die is in like, God forbid, a tragic accident or something like that. Right, Chad? I don't know if anyone watched The Price is Right. As super cop, really. <laughs> Um, 
Jatmar Barker. What was the Xulo Tens Axel Barker? I don't know what Xulo Tens means. You from Spain, right? Alfred Ibarra. No, I'm from. I'm not from Spain. I'm not from. Oh, you're from Chile. I'm not from Spain. I'm Persian, actually. That he got as close as to age 100 without going over. <laughs> Well, by the sounds of this law, they would like to die in the jaws of a giant fish. No! Yeah, Bob Barker, right? Yes, who said Barker? Jat Mundar did say Barker. Yeah, I did say, did I say Barker? I just said Bob. I can't remember. But yeah, Bob Barker. As I was like, oh no, that's it. Um... Oh, and then did you guys also hear that um, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Barbenheimer, so both like Barbie and Oppenheimer, are set to bring in eight for, I, th I don't know if it was like eight point, eight, eight point, what's up with me? 8.5 billion or 8.5 million to the US economy. Um, that's crazy how like, the end we were talking about this earlier about wealth and money and if it brings happiness or not and then we discussed the entertainment industry and i said how like if it justifies athletes getting paid more than doctors who are saving lives nobody actually really answered that question what did chat think uh but yeah no um they're set to bring in like 8.5 billion to the u.s economy which at the end of the day like is it a it's a great thing but also entertainment is running the world like if there weren't concerts if there weren't games you know if you or whatnot if they didn't have like tickets to sell for these kind of things i wonder how the economy would um like what would the resources be outside of the entertainment industry to bring in money because i feel like that's the biggest portion of the economy I would like to watch it with Saharita. Oh, Aaron, does that stuff turn you on or something? Taylor Swift for president. Uh, Pony, do you like Taylor Swift and do you enjoy listening to his to her music? There was a footage of a security guard working at the stadium, and I guess he was like a Swifty fan because he was like doing his job standing, and then he started just like going back and forth dancing, and then everyone was like, hey, hey, and then he was being recorded. It was really funny. He was like, it was a very wholesome moment, because he was so into it. <laughs> um, restate the question, please. Elliot, what was the question that I asked? I already forgot. Al Simario da Maceno, Oki Abre, are you Russian? Do you think gender pay gap in sports are real? Actually, I can't really talk on that topic because I don't really know. I like the most athletes that I know are men. I don't know of many women athletes. That's because I also don't watch the Olympics. So like when it comes to like international athletes, whether it be like soccer, basketball, women's basketball team, women's soccer team, gymnastics and all of that, like I'm not really, but I'm sure there is a pay gap just like there is in the economy in general when it comes to gender roles or whatnot. Lots okay from South Africa. Michael Sylvester, thank you for joining. How are you? Happy Monday. How was your weekend? Men bring in more fans. It's uh, the fans who bring the money in. Mm. Uh, do they? I mean, when you're watching a soccer game, I guess a men's soccer game will be will bring in way more fans than a women's soccer game. Uh, you like your music? Interesting. I wouldn't think you did. I mean, like, I'm not really. I mean, I enjoy her music. I'm just not like, you know, I, I don't like if, if she plays on the radio, I'll listen, but I'm not going to go out of my way to like buy her music is what I'm trying to say, maybe. But some of her songs are quite catchy, you know? I feel like attending a Swifty concert is very wholesome. Everyone's like very happy and supportive. There's not much fight or chaos or things like that going on at her concerts. Shaw55, how are you? What was the question? I want to see you close. You want to see me close like, close like this? <laughs> 
Um, if the men's league brings in a hundred million and the women brings in 20 mil, then why would they get paid more? I am so shiny. How do I remove unwanted hairs? Do you use wax or laser treatment? I mean, I haven't waxed in like five months. <laughs> I don't know. I, I used to do laser in the past. Maybe that's why I don't have hair. That's like two butchers. One sells 40 steak. The other sells five steak. It's logical. The one who sells 40 will make more money. That, that was easy math for me to understand. The boss, you should become a math teacher. Yeah, five months, if not more. <laughs> do you have laser eyes now? No, I don't. I don't have laser eyes. Although when you do laser, they say to wear these glasses because it's dangerous that your eyes are, you know. I wish I could. I wish I had that superpower. Every time someone would troll or be mean on my channel, I'd zoom them with my laser eyes. I'd literally throw laser at them. Um, how was that deleted? I, I guess someone deleted. She's got laser vision. Watch. I do though. Know me? I don't know if you're new to my channel, but I, oh my God, my dead cat chat. Oh, no, no. Oh my God. It went under here. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Chat. I hurt myself. I have a boo boo. Ow. You know when, uh, <laughs> ouch, it hurts. You know, like the hardwood floor, it's sharp and the thin pieces like digs into your hand and then it starts hurting and you got to pull it out with a, with a tweezer. This fell under the table and I noticed it moving faster and faster. So I went on my floor, on my hands and knees to pick it up and then something sharp went into the palm of my hand it's like really deep inside it's gonna irritate me tonight i'm gonna have to like call the ambulance i'm nervous who's gonna help me i need to take this thing out it happened to me once in the past and i had to like peel my skin off like it went deep inside of my skin this is what happens when i play with my hair too much Ah, and it always gets stuck. It's time for me to cut my hair. It's always in the way. Okay, there we go. That background was cool, eh? The one by the pool. Should we go? Chad, do you guys like the pool area? Should we do more pool streams? Uh, not her toe against it. No, it was my hand. I could be better. <laughs> um, tweezer. I like to have the uh, you are far. <laughs> what would you pick if you choose superpower? Be able to teleport or be invisible? Lloyd, that's actually a very good question. I think I would pick, I have to be careful because I would say invisible because if you're invisible, you could be in any room, listen to any conversation um which is a great you know a, like attribute not an attribute but it's i guess it's a great super power to have uh i would say maybe or be able to teleport them that means well i mean because if you're invisible you could get on planes travel anywhere in the world no one's going to know you're in there so what's the point i would say invisible yeah uh the pool elliot you prefer the pool who wrote it? I don't support. I disabled it. Who wrote it? Why don't you support? My hand really hurts now. You are so good to give answers off so difficult questions. Do you angry on my questions? Super cough. No, I don't get angry on your questions. Uh, <laughs> Two puff pony. I think you've been long enough with me to know that I'm very like a crybaby when it comes to situations like this. Like. If I, God forbid, I cut my hand, life is over. I'm calling the ambulance. I'm going to have like a panic attack. I'm going to start crying nonstop. This is really bad. I'm not joking. I know you guys are thinking it's, it's like purple now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to like burn it with a needle. It's irritating me already. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it is a splinter. That's exactly what it is, Calmio. It hurts. <laughs> I don't know why you guys think it's funny. I knew I shouldn't have. I always do the silly things. Actually, the hardwood floor here, some of it is not properly put inside. Once I was walking here and I'm barefoot and my toe almost got stuck and it was the right leg almost got stuck in between the hardwood. I kid you not, if it would have gotten stuck, I would have been in the emergency room at the hospital with an ambulance. I'd call an ambulance because my toe would snap in two. It's already like not 100% healed and my nail is like very, you know, soft because of what happened. I literally freaked out. I was like, oh my God, thank God my toe didn't get stuck in between. Uh, why would I provoke you? <laughs> Me too. We have so much in common. That was funny. That was funny. Vinday and Persian. I was literally about to write Persian, but what I meant to write is, uh, check me out on YouTube chat. If you're on uh, kick, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. Um, and I think I answer everyone here. I do not know why I like to see you was wearing in your previous video, the lower part of your, Oh no, I shouldn't have, um, I shouldn't have, uh, Open that message. I have this tendency of writing show to everything. Some of these might not know. I think you wrote a half sentence. What are you having for lunch? Do you want recipe idea? Some of these might not know where it is. Um, lunch ideas. I'm pretty boring when it comes to lunches and dinners. Like, Everything, I keep thinking someone's like right behind me or grabbing a chair behind me. No, every time I, um, I, I already know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have lentil barley soup. That's what I'm going to eat later. And that's going to be my breakfast lunch because I haven't eaten yet. My tummy is getting quite hungry, actually. My sandals are always on the floor. I never wear them when I'm sitting down or if I'm standing. You know, I only wear them till I go back in the house. Thank you, Daniel. Like Snow White? Do I look like Snow White? Vindal, where are you from? And you are new to my channel. Shaw55, I think you are new as well. Um, <laughs> I just read that message. I think I read everyone's message. I was going to say lentils for lunch. I'm, it's, it's not just lentils. So I buy this pack of like, mixed it's i guess lentils are considered beans so it's like lentils barley wild black rice and then i add green lentils and red lentils to it and then i put i toss in a bone marrow and then i put pepper and salt and i just kind of let it simmer and boil and then i have it for like three days and it's like delicious and it's like great for your skin it's great for your bones and it's all around very nutritious. So I usually have that. I have it like three, four times a week, actually. And then the rest of the week, like, I do oatmeal sometimes. I do like smoothies, eggs. But eggs really depends on my mood. Like if I'm nauseous, I don't want to touch that stuff. I, during the summer, usually I have hard-boiled eggs because they don't smell as strong and they're easy to digest and eat. Some of you already know my situation with, uh, you know, eggs and how sensitive I am to the smell of it. I don't know. I don't know how people can eat eggs and not gag. You know how like some people do contests where like, or like they go to the gym, guys specifically, they'll like literally eat six eggs or like blend it in a blender and have it raw. Oh, that stuff is so nasty. I don't know who can do that. Who can actually, if, if someone dares you, would you like literally crack like five raw eggs, like, toss it in the blender, mix it, and then just drink it or chug it like raw like that. And if you do so, are you able to do it without gagging and throwing up? Like, I'm, this is literally a serious question. Meat to fans. I'm not really sure what that means, Shakir. 
truck truth thing do models get bikini area surgeries to hide camel toe <laughs> i don't think i've ever had anyone ask me that question actually uh, i was going all right then yum yeah no raw egg you i don't know some people can do it i've had i've seen like people Guys specifically, I don't know of any girls that would do that, but I've seen guys specifically do that. Hence the reason why I'm asking a serious question, but nobody's really answering my question. Um, anybody? Chat, remind me to always stand, sit straight. I'm always slouching, so I gotta sit straight. I can mix a raw egg into a smoothie. <laughs> How can you drink that without smelling the eggs and not throwing up or at the very least gagging? How is that possible? Like if a plate or a spoon or a cup smells like egg or I get a whiff of the smell of eggs, I'm going to gag. So imagine raw eggs. Oh, that stuff is nasty. Isn't it like dangerous to like actually have raw eggs? Um, why kick viewers are more than Twitch viewers? That I don't know, actually. Lloyd Velasquez. Maybe we should ask my kick viewers that question. Are they really, though? I mean, it's been a while I haven't been on Twitch. Do you like to act? I'm not going to answer that question because the answer to that question is no. Uh, I actually answered it. Miss Chili Tomiko. Hola. It's more dangerous to eat the whole eggshell and all. Well, no, of course the eggshell, but eating a raw egg is very dangerous, actually. Is there something wrong with this? You just said to hide the dairy farm, but it reveals after a few times. The dairy farm? What are you talking about? Luis Daniel, would you like to get me one? <laughs> I'll wear it for you. Chat, it's crazy how time flies by. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've been streaming. I just literally noticed this. I've been streaming for like three hours or close to three hours, right, Chat? Let me log in because I know that like um, you got to like, um, it doesn't update on its own. So you got to, yeah, it's been three hours, close to three hours I've been streaming. That's that, that's crazy. I can't believe it. It feels like I've been streaming for 10 minutes, right? Is it just me or does everyone feel the same? <laughs> Who is your most jolly fan? Like the most jolly fan is like the one that's in like the happiest mood and always jolly and always positive. I have a few of them. I have a few fans that are like very supportive and always like positive. Three hours, right? Thank you for letting me. Can I cut some? more shorts from your videos cb i want to know what you want to do with these shorts that you're cutting from my videos where do you post them is what i want to know uh pony it's been five months anniversary since twitch yeah it's gonna my twitch is gonna get reinstated in october like right before my birthday actually like a couple of days before my birthday this top is like keeps going up Oh, Michael Sylvester, that was sweet. Thank you. Pretty sad seeing him retired. Who are we seeing to retire? Um, Alfred, thank you. Luis Daniel, gracias. Soy tu fans, number one, numero unos, right? Numero unos, I think I said that properly. They go on YouTube and advertise your channel. I haven't seen any traction from those advertisements, but feel free to do so. Nomex, what's 253.12? Oh, I've been streaming for 2 hours, 53 minutes, and 12 seconds is what you meant. Uh, oh, my God, Stab. Hola, how are you? Born in... Wait, Pony, your birthday's in October as well, right? I think so. I'm not sure that you'll be back on Twitch. That's for sure that you'll be back on Twitch. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna go back on Twitch for more than like once a week. It'll be like, my focus is really YouTube and Kick. But um, for those of you that are on Kick, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream on Kick and YouTube for an hour and then I'm going to stream for an hour on Twitter. So I'm going to go like offline and go back online. Twitch, I'm only going to stream there maybe once a week. I don't know. It's just like, we'll see. I'll see how, you know, because I haven't been on the platform for such a long time, it's going to take me a long time to build my community again, to be honest with you. And so I don't know, maybe I'll just, um, I'll try it out a couple of times and see how it goes and then take it from there. I mean, the anger that I have with that platform and the things that I see that they let fly by and like, I didn't do anything. And I can say that with like full confidence, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And every time I've been on that platform, I've worked so hard to build my community. And then I kind of have to always start back from zero. And it just gets to a point where it's like, you know, when is it enough, you know? So, yeah. Oh, your birthday's in Jan. Yeah, you're right. Your birthday's in the same month as my sister's birthday. I can't remember the date, though. Erin, why are you mad? I saw something that you tweeted about being the first verified streamer. Saw your name and recommended. Decided to what you're going on. No, Mix, what? I never tweeted that. I'm Persian. And I never tweeted that. Oh, my God, Chen. By the way, I don't really know how Twitter works. I replied back to something. Twitter is such a complicated platform to use, in my opinion. It's like Instagram is so easy. Like, there, there's this page that I follow that's actually like, they always ask these good questions. And I answer one of the questions. And the comment was on my page. I'm like, why is the comment on my page? I answered on someone else's page. I'm like, can everyone see that comment? It's only me who can see it. I, I, I never really comprehended how the whole platform works. Yeah, Persian is Iranian. Purely, I mean, Lloyd, I don't know if it's slavery on, I feel like it's purely slavery on kick, to be honest with you. At least you make some form of revenue on Twitch, even though if you don't get subscriptions, that's like my um, take on it. Only I can activate private code here for myself. I was doing cooking streams, exercising, like fitness, so like gym streams, pool streams, cooking streams, and just chatting. Pretty much the same thing. Um, I was doing way more cooking streams. So I was like in the kitchen a lot of the time. The, the time that happened, I was working out in a bikini. Like nothing happened. I got up. I got gifted like 10 subscriptions. I got up. I did a twirl. And then my page was gone. Um. Unless you block them, they can see everything on Twitter. That's weird. That's weird how... Well, didn't, um, didn't uh, Elon Musk remove the blocking feature from everyone? Like, you can't block anyone on Twitter anymore, right, Chan? Isn't that what happened? Move this to the side. There we go. Mr. Rag, you're new here. How are you? Oh my God, Luis, I timed you out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how I did that. Where is he? <laughs> Every time I touch my phone, I do something I shouldn't be doing. I have no idea how I timed you out. I'm sorry, Luis. Luis Carlos Pereira. How do I say sorry i'm sorry how do you say i'm sorry in spanish um then if you mute them they can see your stuff but you can't see theirs but the thing is you're replying back to someone else's page so why is it showing up on your page to begin with i guess that's what the question is <laughs> i don't even know how to undo what i just did actually I actually don't know how to undo that. I must have saw another streamer while similar name. Either way, glad I came across your channel. Welcome to Kicknomics. Thank you so much for joining my stream. Appreciate that. Glad to have you on my channel. You were doing great on Twitch, but somehow you were targeted. Pony, I was doing great. Like, I literally, there was like a, there was traction on my channel. Like, 
for like the past like three months every time i try to apply for twitch partnership this happens like it happened last time where i applied they're like oh try more and then apply again in a week and then boom they would just like you know block my account so it was just like the timing was off as well so yeah definitely i think so too um voce ver uputso I don't know what that means. I do have Discord, actually. If you go on my profile, I don't think my Discord is on my link tree, but if you do go in my profile section of my page, you'll be able to see my Discord channel. And you can join my Discord if you want to get notifications as to when I go live. Yeah. That doesn't like you. Bleep bloop. It like the timing was just off every single time. It was like random. You know, like I I would hold like I would you know, I've seen streamers throw like a hissy fit and go full on dramatic crazy for getting banned for like one or two days because they're like a partner and streamer partners don't get really a ban. I call that a day off. And they're like, oh my god, like I torqued on stream and they ban me and they make such a big fuss out of it. I'm like, girl, chill. Like you clearly did something you shouldn't have and you're literally getting banned for like a day. Why are you crying? You know, um, but like I really didn't do anything. I was literally in a swimwear with fishnet stockings working out. So it was just strange altogether. But yeah, and I was convinced it has to be either that or, you know, a few viewers that kept doing that on my channel. I did not find your panty wet like my wife. She's... Um, <laughs> oh <gasps> jeez that was like so random what Aaron? so why are you here um eres un linda espero estendi entiendas eso amiga rico dego i think that's what your name see did you see kai when the streamer was bleep bloop i did i actually mentioned it earlier i was like it's so wholesome and cute how he brought ray on stage with him to accept is a word and it's so great that like you know they kind of went from being strangers to having such a deep connection and friendship so yeah i did see that he won um who else won did xqc win any awards i don't watch the streaming awards i just it appeared and popped up on my chat uh, like on my page today on youtube and that's how i found out about it to be honest with you um King Meow Meow, you're late. I've already been streaming for like three hours, actually. Uh, they cry like they got murdered or something. Jat Mudar, what are we talking about? Your birthday is November 6th. Daniel, I'll try to remember that. I can't promise I will, but I will try to remember. Um... What does capim de fusca asim mean? Ugosto de capim de fusca asim. What does that mean? I did not find uh, to see and communicate with you to understand your perspective. <laughs> oh. Humana, what's new with you, by the way? You've been awfully quiet today. My throat is starting to hurt. <laughs> I guess it's because I talk too much today. Oh. Wee, wee, wee. Michael Sylvester, you joined earlier. So yeah, I do remember you. Oh. Oh, no, I mean, oh, I understand what you're saying. No, streamers that get banned, like, you got to understand that for some people, it's their full-time job. Like, that's what they're relying on, that kind of, like, money to survive or whatever the case may be. I'm talking about partners who, like, get a ban of, like, two days and they're crying. Like, seriously, you're crying over a two-day ban? Like, 
you're going to come back and people are going to gift you like 50 subscriptions and all as well. So like, I don't really see why they're creating so much drama over it or those who really do something wrong. And then they're like, Oh, but why am I not allowed to do this? You know? Um, anyway, I love YouTube. So I'll leave it as that multitasking because you're working, right? Uh, Roberto Albino, you would love to see my feet. Then maybe you can join, uh, one of my other socials if you'd like to see my feet. Chad, I guess I'm going to call it a day today. I had a, honestly, today was like one of those days where I got to tie my hair. Today was one of those days where I felt like, <laughs> Everything's falling. I feel like uh, everyone was so engaging. I don't know. I felt like really good vibes, positive vibes all around. My hair is so nasty. I got to go shower. One, because I was in that pool where the water was not necessarily clean. My hair is definitely not going to... Uh, Bad hair day. Sure. Aaron, would you like to gift me some so I can wear it for you? Oh, it feels so much better. My hair was like in my face and it was like sticky because of like the sunscreen. Much better. Let's shower together, Alfred. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Um, are we in the... I feel like... This is better, right, champ? Anywho, turn up. Hello. Before I leave, though, my kick viewers, are you all all ears? Are you listening to anything I'm saying? Please make sure to go subscribe to YouTube. It is free to subscribe to my channel there, and it is free to follow me there. You can check out some of the videos that I have. I have some workout videos that focus more on core. I've got some a Halloween video that you guys should go check out where I'm shouting and screaming where I went to the Halloween hair right with my sisters. I've got a stretching video. If you guys haven't seen that one, please go check it out as well. I'm going to put together a yoga video. Hopefully it'll go up sometime, maybe today, tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, check me out there. Thirsty viewer, check out her. <laughs> Alfred, yes, I love you too. And Raheem, you were on earlier. Elliot? on earlier as well i guess that's it chat what's your at on your feet page <laughs> i don't really oh my god speaking of feed ziggy i saw the meme you posted on my discord channel about the feet situation thing i thought it was so funny <laughs> where the guy is like oh honey i want you to stay home i want you to cook and clean i i'm gonna provide for the both of us i make enough money and she's like oh i'm on feet whatever.com I'm not even sure that thing is true. I've never really looked into it, to be honest. And he goes like, wait, how much do you make? And then he's like, in the kitchen, what else do you want me to do? I want you to cook for me. Okay, okay, honey, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> that was funny. Um, you can make a request on Fancy Fans. Uh... Alfred, you're, I feel like my viewers are my friends. You're my virtual friends. I get to know you, each and every one of you. The more you engage with me, the more I get to know you. And so I feel like all of my friends, all my YouTube, all my viewers, the majority of my viewers that talk to me are my friends. So yeah, the foot finder meme. Yeah, I saw that. It was so funny. Anywho, chat, love you all. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. I will stream tomorrow around the same time. Please make sure to check me out on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. They're free to follow and subscribe. So show me some support. I would really appreciate it. And today, I'll see you guys tomorrow, same place, same time, around like 12 o'clock East Coast time. Yeah. Thank you for being so sweet. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting with me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and write me a little comment and i will catch you guys tomorrow bye chat bye hugs and kisses to you <laughs>